bro. You know, Talk to me. You Dominicans are freaks, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Right yes, now. and I've never been invited to a freak did you off. Hear the, did you hear it? the song? It's, it's sweet me. <laughs> so I mentioned it before in the last episode. Yes, you did. Um, that I lost weight. I lost 14 pounds. Which is, hey. which, no way on God's green earth I am walking over to hug the killer of my brother. Nah. It's the Trizzy and Morgan show. I show. Like to see you. Yeah. The, the urge to get up. I, I, I don't want you to bring out like, the, the Morgan twerk, frankly, inside of you. you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so nah, it's cool, bro. But, but bro, what's, what's, what's going on? Bro, Talk to me. You Dominicans are freaks, bro. I'm telling you. Right yes, now. and I've never been invited to a freak you hear off. The, but you hear the song? It's, it's sweet in me. Why are you walking up your waist like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's killing me. It's killing me. Bro, someone, what, someone get what? the wood polish and yeah. the, the lemon oil to, 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 to loosen Why? up. You know I mean? WD-40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soca music is all here. All here. Yeah. Right. Damn straight. Right, and then think about... <laughs> when you go home with your partner, yeah. what she's getting. Yeah. You're yeah. like actually Jackson every night, you know. You know, bro? I only used to go so a bag of sugar for shoe. I no, okay, <laughs> talk about it. Talk about it, Keish. I mm. used to go soca raves with my ex because I knew it was just a crab session. Or I used to go soca raves just to crab. I never, I yeah. went, it was just so, like. Can we define crab? Um, for a white cow walk up there. I used to just go there because I knew I was going to get a grind yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. do you yeah. remember Kakaleli you remember Kakaleli's you can't do that on hip hop you can't do that you could do that on R&B slow jams but they don't even do the slow jam like last 30 minutes of the dance anymore no, they, don't they don't do that no, no more do you know what I mean you can't do you could do that to dance or soca dance or yeah you can't do that to reggae. You can't hear in a berry. Well, actually, you can do a little what? slow What, reggae? Scrum. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When, rock, when, when, um, there was like, when there was a dance in the house. No, 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 Like, I, I, my voice oh, can go yeah, higher. Yeah. No, I know your voice can go high. I just don't but, think but we want to hear that. Everything is soca is low. It's down here. Yeah, bro. That's why, that's why we live past our age. No, looks I wise, we it. stay nimble. It when, you know what I'm saying? I respect it. You one never day, know when. Bro, one day, the next one I'll DJ that. Yeah. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing All right, it. let me know. Just, I just want you to experience that world because it gets wild. Yeah. <laughs> To be to be fair, I've I've uh, slow wind a house festival. You slow wind a house. house. Yeah, random. That's... I'll show you a lot later. I got it on video. Oh, house. It's ridiculous. Yeah. House it's is wild. Doom, doom, yeah. Doom. You have to try and find the vibe yourself. You probably listen to a next genre music like, in dun, your head. Dun, 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 dun. It's like that. Yeah. Okay. And it's just like yeah. What are you doing in the middle of the dance? I used to go house raves. Because it was just the thing to do, and I never really enjoyed myself at house race. It's always like a blade type environment. Just, there. Everybody's it's just like, yeah, everyone's just, it. everyone's just like everyone's like on zombies. Co- everyone's on like, coke. All right, chill out, like guys. chill out, guys. Chill out, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so when I start having house raves, you lot not coming. Always, right. always, no, no, no. Always do the head bosh like they give it for late shows, right? and, just, and they're moving at the same time. Like, Man. bro, you got some skills, isn't it? <laughs> like it's 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 crazy, brother. But you know, yeah, but yeah. soca raves. Bruv, Soka's a happy genre of music ever. I haven't I mean, been to a Soka rave for ages. I've uh, been, obviously, Carnival. You're, you're, okay, you'll be you'll be rolling with us as well. I think it's more of a happier genre than Afrobeats. I'm going to put it above Afrobeats. That's a one-two punch. Soka <laughs> and Afrobeats. Like, the I'm, African in the room might, interject, might not feel... Ha- I'm not here to. How do you feel about that? Wait, we're all Africans, bro. <laughs> 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 what are we do, Joe? What do we say we were splitting up today? You're, you're like the one. You're the one. You're the only one in the area, bro. Yeah. That's why you told that. You're the point. You're the point one. You're the point one. But I don't. I, I don't want to say that it's better where you live. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that. Where it's like, bro, I was fully like this, you in know, the looking country. like. Can I just see one? And then I put my arm out the window and I was like, oh, I see one. Oh, no, that's my arm. They put it back in because I haven't seen one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you like the only one around here. Yeah, that's it. So it that's is. why you was in the last episode. You said you winked at the, yeah, the black man. Yeah. 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 Like, like, oh my gosh, brother. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Am I now in the one. safari? No, it's just... 
Safari. You know I mean? <laughs> a question. Go on. When you're actually just relaxing at home, chilling, yeah. uh, do you keep, no do, do you put your hands in your pocket in your brief and feel you, and cup your balls? You're not sex. I do. I, do. I cut my breast. At home when you're chilling. Yeah, when I'm chilling, I just have like. See, it's a thing. I I, you know what? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I knew it was a thing. Girls do it. We have a thing. No, no, I'm not disputing that. Joe and myself, this side, we're just gonna listen to you two talk about cupping yourselves. Yeah, <laughs> it's cut, I, like a comfort like, thing. I, I will be, I'll be in, in my sofa chilling, and my hands is in my trousers, just chilling. Like. And where does it go from here? It how far do you progress with this? It depends how. <laughs> Joe, were you chilling today? No, I can't. It, it's, I'm, I'm not comfortable enough. Okay, for the rest of no, the. No, I mean, I mean, at any point today, were you chilling? Yeah, tonight, tonight, I'll be in the sofa. In my okay, but for the purpose of this pod, the I need to, to see your though. hands on this laptop. <laughs> Put your hands where my eyes can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, because, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, bro. I love for you. If you, if I see you cupping your, your, if I see you cupping your yeah, crown jewels yeah. next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I need to know what you're thinking about during the pod. Now I know what the lemon oil is for. Oh my God. Wait, can we briefly talk about how how AJ put um in a in a Donny in a spliff. To, to go all the way over there to get put in the spliff that's something else you know that's something else they could have done it locally man went all the way over there to roll with camels and, and sand just to get put in the spliff but shout out to AJ because yeah. a lot of people was a lot of people talking some talk about I, AJ I but I like gonna... I like the route he's going where he's just getting these wins and just building up his uh, I thought he was going to lose I thought he was going to lose yeah I just ha- haven't believed in AJ in a long time okay. and so I thought he, Donny, he, you know that fury fight he had. He, that was fury like a, on the mat. Yeah, it was fair it. enough. No, there's reasons to be. A so bit I thought, okay, cool. It's AJ, bro. I knew yeah. he was gonna win. I'm just did you? Saying, yeah. Did you root him for him to win? Yes. Okay. I root him every single time. So, yeah. He won his not boxing. Yeah. I mean, I actually, mm, no, like no, I won't go into that. Time. Women in the chokehold, that like AJ there. Yeah. <laughs> it had women crying, bro. 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 Nah, that's ridiculous, bro. bro. <laughs> when when Ruiz when Ruiz had done him the first time, yeah. you, you, you could hear it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could hear women like, "My, hey, my." Yeah, you could hear. You could, was yours, you could hear. Fallo- you could hear fallopian tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> tightening up, <laughs> <laughs> guys. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, like, Not good comfort. <laughs> yeah, you know, like that. Bruv, I swear. All of a sudden in their period. Yeah, that's crazy. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, time stop that one. <laughs> time stop? Uh, I don't even know what time is. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. while we're on this subject, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you ever been yeah. have you ever? in a situation where she has called you the name of her celebrity crush? While you're while you're whopping, yeah, that's no. insane. <sighs> that is techie. No, that's never happened to me. But I have slept with somebody and needed to get them out of my house because they smelled out the room. <gasps> Her naan bread was terrible. Her naan bread was this before or after oh, sorry, the chop? Wait, so how I, does that have I, any correlation? I, I chopped, wait, but keys, I, this is this is wait, keys. <laughs> A very important question was asked, what? and the way this is answered is going to be no, no, not yet. Yeah, you're, 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 you're thinking what I'm answered. thinking, Jizzy. Just... Right, okay, Joe. For the people at the back, can you put... wait? Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, I'm gonna. Oh I'm gonna... my gosh! I know you cooked the meal, but I need to set the table up. So I just asked my colleague here. See, I said colleague and not brother because oh. depends what's being said. I asked my colleague here, has he ever uh, been in, in, in a sexual activity and yeah. the female has called him the name of her celebrity crush? Yeah. His answer. He then said, no, no, but I've had to kick someone out because of how their... Um, yeah, yeah her, pH, her pH balance was off Now, our, <laughs> our director extraordinaire here, Jojo, was like, so was this before or after you did the deed? Yeah. Now, you may continue, sir. It was it was semi in like I went in for play and it started to get real. It started to stink. You know, like cod liver oil tablets. If you split the wow, wow, wow. 
I've heard enough. I've heard enough. <laughs> Let's just end the story there. I've heard enough. Hey, wait, that, that Eminem segment ruffled, ruffled feathers, you know? I love it. You know what, though? Eminem. I had to catch myself because I was like, I was jumping in at the comment section. I was I like, no, it. let me not do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw because it. this is the beauty of life. Everyone has an opinion. And the more people don't share your opinion, it's the better for a conversation we can have. Yeah, it's true. Okay. But Especially d- if people don't watch the whole thing. But this is what comment. annoyed me. Right. It's, but this is what annoyed me. A lot of people commented on the section and I was like, did you watch right, it? Some people commented based off the thumbnail. Yeah. So yes. You could tell. Yeah. Yes. That's the problem. Yes. And that's when I was like, oh shit, I've got time for day. Because you you commenting on something based on the thumbnail and yeah, not because of the done content. No. So you heard, oh yeah, duh, 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 duh. Um, black people, it a brother, like, I don't know you. You weren't even a racist. But like, you, if you check the content, you'd realize that we're not saying Eminem is not a great MC and this, that. You're and actually so. saying he is. Right. We're just saying that some of the reasons some people no longer check for M like that. But again, if you don't press play, Jizzy Morgan show uh, on YouTube. <laughs> then, do you know what I'm saying? But shout out to you for, uh, what are we at now? 1.3? 1. 1.3. 1. 1. 1. 1. point on that? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's doing well. So shout out to M. We're not promising M will be on the show anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. just saying, like, do you uh, know? Shout out to everybody. And I feel like we need to start the show. show. It's the Jizzy and Morgan show. Show, show, Welcome, show. everybody, to the Jizzy and Morgan show, people. Me. We are back once again. Yes, sir. Um, uh, he goes by the name of Drizzy Freckles. And this gentleman right here is the one and only Undisputed Morgan Heights. This is our home away from home and it's yours too. I want to shout out Joe, Joe, Ben Tanner in the building. Good to see you, sir. Joe, you come on. Come on. I, I called Joe yesterday and he was like, yeah, I just come out of the barber shop, got a fresh trim. I was like, yeah. Jeez. I was like, yeah, Joe. Outside. Yeah. I'm trying to be someone's uh, ba- right bag of sugar today. Brown <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, 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 sugar bag. The, the weather guessed me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then I got yeah, so yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's annoying. We need we need we need like I just feel like Lent. I, I my weather. No, actually, sorry. Before I say that, just, please we're introducing. Let's not forget. Uh, 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 shout out to the lovely Keisha who's back in the building oh. again. Oh, go on, Keisha. She decided to come back, guys. Yeah, yeah. So she's she, returned. She, she was happy with how it went last night. So Return of the Mac. Back. Yeah, how are you doing, Keisha? I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm good. With, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, happy belated birthday. Oh, thanks, thanks. Oh, she said that in the last. Yeah. You know, it's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know. Well, while we're there, happy belated birthday, happy belated International Women's Day. Oh, thank you. Um, Thanks. I, d- <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it because I'm um, a very successful Right. This woman. is why I said it. And okay. we, need, we need the female audience's views. because Yeah, yeah, yeah it's facts, facts. And yes, facts. I picked up myself. Um, shout out to the mothers. I had Mother's Day as well. Yay. Yeah, shout out to Mother's Day. seemed a little bit more... F- uh, Friendlier this year. Yeah. I didn't see too many of the trigger and posts. Yeah. Recession, no, that's going to come on Father's Day. <laughs> oh, yeah, Father's Day. Sorry, that's Father's that's Day. Why I got confused. That's yeah, yeah, Father's yeah. Day. As you said it, I was like, actually, you're right. Yeah, and then I was like, Father's Wait. Day. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we cried so still to them. Happy uh, Father's Day to me because I'm doing both. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about it next time. But shout out to Bosse Keisha now. Yeah. Um, I think rain should only fall. If it's going to fall, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. It shouldn't rain on a Monday. It shouldn't rain on a Friday. And we're in Lent season. Shout out to all our Ramadan brothers and sisters. Yes. Yeah. Our Muslim brothers and sisters because it's Ramadan season. Yep. Um, yeah. Isn't it the sh- fourth day, of, fourth week of Lent? Or fourth do day? I look, do, like I look, like do I look Muslim? Like that. Do, I look, huh? do I look like I'm Muslim? No, but, it's Lent, it depends. Nah. It depends who you ask. I'm not trying to bear out where you live again. No, I do. Yeah, yeah, but just, no, but you know, it's good. To, I I do um, try to have some sort of discipline per se. Yeah. For Lent. What did you give up for Lent, Drizzy? What did I give up? I gave up something. Pum pum pum. I knew you was gonna say no, that. No, no. I knew you so was going to say that. I'm Morgan. So I was kind of hoping you were going to say something else. The fact that you said that, it's like, I'm actually disappointed in you. Because uh, I have you, I hold you to higher regard than that. that yeah, that's man. That's fruit there. Well, okay. Don't tell me, it's so okay. disappointing. Let Keish ask the question again and then let's see what you come up with. Go ahead, Keish. Drizzy, what did you give up for Lent? I can't remember, but I know I gave, so I'm, I need to go home and check what I wrote down in regards to what I gave up for Lent. But what do you think I gave up for Lent though, Morgan? Pum pum. Jesus Christ. All right, cool. 
Um, yeah, but anyway, shout out to our Muslim brothers and sisters who are uh, you celebrating know, Ramadan. Celebrating Ramadan. Certain, man, certain, man, need, to certain man need to start give up pom pom, bro. They do. It's they Saint do, Patrick's Day. They, 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 they do way too much with pom pom. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to. You see, you see, see, oh, see, see how you lot don't listen to Drizzy? Didn't Drizzy say stop the shout outs or do it too late? Or do it later. No, no, no. But I'm talking about shout outs and guys like individual people. Oh, okay. You know cool. what I'm okay. Yeah. This is this is a this is a, a landscape. Blanket oh, okay. State. Yeah, cool, yeah, cool, this cool. is like what's going on at the moment. Certain shout people out. we know have celebrated their birthdays that will shout out later on. Cool. Do you see what I'm saying? Cool. Cool. Say nothing. Roll with me, brother. You get for our life. You know? <laughs> Um, yeah, shout out to our paddies out there celebrating some packing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi, oi. Big up to them and them and them. Um, I've got a couple around my side of town. Yeah, you man. look like you've got all of them around here. I grew up with a lot of paddies, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Harston paddies. Harston, Harston, Neasden, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. It's just paddy central. Are they allies? They're allies, right? Yeah, I they feel are. Like they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they well, kind of not on the scale of weeded, but I felt they. No, no, so on the scale. They, when they, when, we, when we came here, yeah, yeah, yeah. they we they they were allowed in with yeah. dogs, yeah, yeah, yeah. and us. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Is that why they like Guinness? Because it's got, uh, it's got a white and black like. <laughs> <color. laughs> like no, I'm just saying, like you know, you know when you pour the Guinness, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got, it's the, got the white, the white head. So yeah, it's kind of yeah. wow. Yeah. Okay. I, <laughs> Oh, what did he say? <laughs> no, no, no. It's got the white head. That's what it is. The top. That's what you call it. The head of the, the Guinness is white. It's like frothy. I'm not saying nothing. You could look at it as a way of like <laughs> that's how society is as well. Like yeah. And then at the wow. bottom is the. It's a bit brother, deep. Go too far. Go too far. Okay, we're too far. <laughs> All right, sorry. What we did? What we did? Yeah. What we did? What we did? What we did? Um, you need to put your mic up a little bit more. Oh, stop talking about. Okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right you're so right. we've got a bit of today. We're going to be discussing a few things, mm-hmm. and we've got some games, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, but the first thing, uh, well, actually, I'll just run off the list. We've got pop culture today. Mm-hmm. Um, we have got topic of self improvement. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. And we've got some games. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to go on to, which I cannot wait for, is documentaries or movies. Hmm. Uh, because yeah. <clears throat> it's can we mad. Tell what it's going to be? Or do we keep. No, I, I, let's not say. Right. No. Should and we then, mention a name of someone uh, in it or should we just not do that? In? What are we saying? Do we drop? Do we name drop something or just no. give a quiche? Cool, sorry, quiche. Yeah. It's up yeah. to you today. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what, well, you, I've just got. Well, the last, the last thing we were discussing is uh, sports as well. I yeah, call, we always yeah. discuss that last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, let's go straight into documentaries and movies. Oh, let's right. just do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go in head first. Whoa! Wait a minute. This is something like it. I like Mr. Peach balance over here. <laughs> <laughs> you might not want to do that. Peach. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Do you know what I mean? Um, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This particular show, I saw season one. Yeah. Yes. And I was like, when did season one come out? Do we have a date? It feels like a long time ago, but not too long ago. It's been out. It's, it's had six seasons. It's had six seasons, but yeah. I stumbled across epi- uh, episode season one and I was like, oh, this what, is good. What, recently? Or- no, 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 no. Right. At the time. So I think it was before season two right. was, was due to come out or before it got renewed. 2020. 2020. Right. Oh, shit. COVID. Yeah. That's why. All right, cool. And I was like, uh. but you know, it's like that time we were all so in tune with hearing a pin drop yeah because we were all inside yeah you can't go outside there's nothing mm-hmm. to do everyone's on their phone all these social media platforms got the most engagement they probably had in decades because we're all on our phone i watched this show i was like yo this show is pretty dope mm. i like the concept i did because it makes you think it makes you check for yourself i like things that make me check for myself whether it's a film or whatever it's like does it make me feel good? Self reflection. Yeah. yeah, it makes you think about the you way you saying? move. Yeah. Or how do I move? Can I do something better? Or how do I communicate with people with this effort? Anyway, what's the show? I enjoyed this. Yeah. But I took my eye off the ball because I thought it was like a one and done thing mm-hmm. experiment. And then I'm in a group chat where they are on this reality TV stuff. Hard. Hard. But I'm like, Whatever, whatever, whatever. Certain things they talk about, I don't care. And obviously, yeah. we watch. We 
we we we we don't hide that we check Love Island. No, now no, you've no. thrown Maya Jam in the mix. We definitely yeah, watch we Love it. Island. Shout to Stormzy. Um, now season six, they're talking about this season sixteen. I was like, whatever, man. And I was like, hang on a minute. I think I've watched this thing before. Mm-hmm. Caught one. Da-dum. Oh shit! This is what they're talking about. I yeah, because season one was iconic. Right. Well, so what we and the other about? seasons weren't all that. To be honest with you, but what Did was season one peak? No, season one was dope. Season was that the? Was... Is that the peak? Yeah, yeah. That, I think so. Yeah, and everything else is trying to catch that. Yeah, this yeah. one and this one came out of the blocks. Well, obviously, we're talking about Love Is Blind. Hello. Okay. What is the premise of that show? What's the synopsis? Um, so it follows a social experiment where single men and women. They're basically looking for love, they get engaged, and this is all, bef- they all form a relationship in pods. So they have series of dates and stuff, and mm-hmm. then they populate relationships and form relationships without seeing the other person. Mm-hmm. So they're just talking, chatting, getting to know each other without any visuals or anything like that. I just want to get to know. Yeah, and then yeah. eventually <laughs> they'll get engaged. Yeah. And then it's like, boom, that's, we're doing this. And then they go outside again. They go outside, they see each other, and then it all just kicks off. Which leads me to the question. It's like a, an, uh, it's, enhanced, it's an enhanced version of uh, Blind Date on steroids. How important is physical attraction to us? We're podding, right? We're podding. Mm-hmm. Keeping it real. That's what we do. This is a safe space. Let's keep it's it four of us here. Let's keep it 100. I think you're lying to yourself. If you say it doesn't have any implications in regards to how you move. Yeah. Like, I know people have this thing and it sounds very nice to say. It's nice this, to say, but it's not realistic. This whole, we are the world type shit. We are the that world. That like, oh no, I'm personality <laughs> before, before their looks. You keep telling yourself and trying to convince yourself that. I think it's a 50-50 thing. Yeah, imagine because someone, someone comes up to you and goes, oh my gosh, your girl's ugly. You're going to feel some type of way. And then in your head, you're like, I mean, someone shouldn't say to that. To know she's got a heart of gold, but they don't see her heart of gold. They just looking at it and they're like, Rob, brother. Let's be serious. Okay? You've seen the, the buff woman with the ugly guy walking down the street. And you're like, Rob, how did he? But Keish, I don't think with that, what you said, I don't think it matters about what guys look like with women. Mm. That's where we treat them good. I think, I think a man... Just off top, I think a man just needs to have something about him and money. And he pretty much can be, he can navigate in a certain way. Look at Jesse's face. Like I'm saying, like Keisha just said, you see a lot of women with ugly dons. Let's keep it a buck. No, she, I, I, the I, compensation I, is he's probably yeah, got money. Just, while I'm not disagreeing with you, I'm just <laughs> thinking about I, I was just, situations. I was just dealing with this this subject yeah. like a boxing round where I'm just I was just jabbing just yeah. to see but you just went straight just to yeah because I, I, I cool. so you're alright so we say 50-50 attraction I think look you, I'm all about balance bro you balance. can't have imbalance or nothing you right. can't have someone who's mad buff and their attitude stinks they don't make they make makeup for the outside not the yeah, inside facts. so like do you know what I mean but then you can't have someone who's <laughs> hot and gold and they are on the we are the world people and you know make that change change that stuff yeah. but then you know if i think about when i met my wife which is in reality yeah it's not it's not like what i did what not like what the contestants on love is blind did yeah i was 100 percent attracted to what she looked like first of all right and then while yeah. speaking to her and communicating with her you yeah. realize her personality matches up to how she looks so she look she looks even more attractive, beautiful, whatever, and yeah. attractive because her her personality matches up with how she looks. Well, based on that though, if she, me, and her was in a pod, I'd probably still be attracted to her mm. just by talking That's to cute. her. I probably would be. Aww, <laughs> don't do that. No, that's so cute. No, ba- just based on right the way that we related, we related, we're yeah, similar. Yeah. We have similar outlooks. Yeah. We are in. <laughs> <laughs> Intro. Siri, play Celine Dion. <laughs> go on, go on. Can we get the dance version? No, that is really say? cute. We need the ghost version. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is... Ghost. When you used to do them, them Celine Dion covers, bro. Ghost was. Hey, Ghost had that market lock, you know? 
Sure, go ahead though. Sorry, Sorry. Right. Right. No. Continue. How, Keisha. how many couples came out? How many couples got engaged? Five what, this season. Yeah, this season. Um, Five. All of them, huh? Jimmy and Chelsea. Yeah. Johnny and Amy. Yeah. Kenneth and Brittany. Kenneth. Kenneth. Oh, so I thought you said, I don't Kenneth. know if you said Kenneth. Like, uh, uh, Clay and AD. Did, I, bro, can I be honest with you? Yeah. I'm surprised you noticed AD. Bro, AD. Based on your track record. AD's, bro. <laughs> Surprised you know it's what because I like white girl. No, I don't like it. <laughs> 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 Get back on set, Drizzy. I hate you. You <laughs> don't. <laughs> and Jeremy and, and Laura. So let's talk about. <laughs> I hate that man. <laughs> No. You, know, you know what it was? You know what it is, right? AD, she turned around. After dark. She okay. turned, no, she turned around. And she's really, she's a, she's attractive, mm-hmm. and but she's uh, in shape. I just, I I think she's absolutely gorgeous. And that stigma that you're giving to me is, is absolutely atrocious. That but, what? That stigma that I just, just white. No, 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 I'm not, no, 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 no. I was just playing off the uh, last episode where we was talking about growing up and crushes, and you was naming everyone but. <laughs> and I was like, well, hang on a minute, this is a bit of a, it's a bit of a, uh, you know what I mean, Tr- trend going on here. Yeah, I love them all. I love them. That's all. all. No, I love them all. So let's talk about, let's talk about Jimmy and Chelsea. Jimmy, first he had two girls onto him. He is, he had Chelsea the, and Jessica. And Jessica. What, what? My humble opinion. <laughs> which is all I can give. Yeah. I don't think he should be with either of them. Really? Wait, isn't she Megan Fox? Oh. I like how she set that up. Isn't she? Yeah. You're right. She is not. My, my, the thing is, yeah, Keisha, is why would you tell Jimmy that you people tell you that you look like Megan Fox. Do you know what it is? And this is a show about not telling people what you look like. Let That's... me let me say why. Because she knows <laughs> she regardless she... of not seeing somebody, yeah. she knows her personality wasn't enough or mm. the conversations wasn't enough to draw him about in. It. So well. she gave him a visual right. in, like fantasy <sighs> of what she could possibly resemble. Right, to draw him in. Everyone, every man I know likes Megan Fox. Yeah, it's generic. Post-surgery. Yeah, post-surgery, yeah. yeah. She so, looked, there's, we've got better ones out there. Though. There are better yeah, ones. Fair enough. There yeah. are better Transformers, ones. the first one, yeah. There are better ones, yeah. but, okay. Let's talk of that, yeah. But, um, yeah. She did that because she knows... Also, that she's just a psycho bitch as well. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think that she did that because she knew that because she wasn't enough? Jessica was onto him, and Jessica looks twenty times better than her. Possibly. Man's, man's Possibly. Because she ter- game played. She ter- game played. On a ter- she tried to lure him in and say, "I look like Megan Fox." Yeah. Dude, was- what guy wouldn't be like? You know what? Megan Fox. Bra. Okay. Yeah. Because you know what the you know what the the game changer would have been. That's why it didn't work for her. Jessica then says to him randomly. While he's kicking in the heart, she goes, "Oh yeah, you know what's funny in the in the uh, back in the in the um, where we stay with the rest of the girls. Someone asked me if I'm related to Salma Hayek. You know that would have made him go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, nah, no. get into Morgan mode. Get into Morgan mode. Morgan mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's chilling. Yeah, talk to me, darling. But then he went through that. Remember, he went through that stage where Jessica told him that he had she had a child. And then the same day, um, Chelsea told him that she, she was, was already married. married. He went right. through. He went through it that day. I boy. am Team Jimmy. I don't know what it was about him. Yeah. Now let me not say that because Jimmy just sounds crazy. Yeah. Jay. Um, <laughs> Get old Jimmy. I was. I was. Uh, I was, team team, I was I yeah, was, but you I, can't be Team Jimmy. Jimmy's condoms. Yeah, say. I am. Yeah. But it's just saying it too many times. <laughs> it's like no, isn't Team? One. Isn't condoms Johnny's? Jimmy's. It's both. Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy, both. Hats. Jimmy. I think Ryan Daddy say Jimmy's because Jimmy made irrelevant. I don't know about condoms. I don't. Yeah, that's of not yeah. Sorry, Same. Joe. You, you sound like you wanted to say something. No, I'm okay, good. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Con- I was TJ. Con- contraception, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> CJ. <laughs> 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 
Um, no, nah, we got a new nickname for Joe. CJ. Hey, just don't start. Don't start. We can't, we... See, Jizzle or oh, wait. I don't want to smoke, Joe. I don't yeah, want to hey. smoke. No, 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 no we're, we're good. CJ moves. in we're the house. Hey. Bro, listen, bro. <laughs> no, uh, listen, there's only one guy called, uh, only two people I know that go by Drizzy. So someone uh, definitely uh, was called a different name in the bed. Uh, well, damn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Silence. Yo, yo, what, what an episode so far. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm okay, yeah? There's no yeah, holes or nothing, yeah? <laughs> Bullet wounds everywhere. Sorry, just switch. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you t- you're, so you're Team Jimmy. Team Jimmy. Uh, yeah, because there was something about him that I, he had this kind of like, not, I don't say Jack the Lad, but he, 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 he seemed swagger. like a cool person. Right. His, hair, like, his hairline was atrocious. Atrocious. Bro. It's still in yesterday. But the thing is, though, is that he, um, <laughs> my one critique of him, yeah. there was others, but I think the main critique, which I think set him up for the rest to be like stumbling and getting up or something, when Jessica... Got the confidence to say to him, I have a child. Yeah. He did the, let me tell you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. So let me tell you what you want to hear, which is, um, like it's cool. Just say, yeah. you know what, ideally, because I'm, I've said this on the pod many a times, mm. ideally, yeah. My babes is someone who hasn't got a child. It's not because I don't want children. It's just because I've seen. It's I've seen. Your it's preference. not me being naive or me being ignorant to, to it. It's just I've seen what my brethren have gone through when they've been with a lady or a lady's been with a guy who has a child outside of their relationship yeah. and how the dynamics is very awkward. But I've you, seen that. It definitely we, wasn't his preference. But can, we not, fake the, that. Yeah, yeah. But can we not fake the funk? Most men don't want children out they want their own children no no but it, it depends because you might have kids and then you meet up with the love of your life and she's got kids so you both have kids outside yeah. of the relationship that, that can, works true yeah. but not when I've one does and one doesn't and it's one of the best households i go to yeah. it works yeah but it was imbalanced because jessica said it and jimmy hasn't got any and jimmy told her what he felt she wanted to hear he should have told her what she needs to hear which is I don't know how I can, how I would handle that situation. Yeah. But because he told her that he, because it led to what? It led to that, that letter. And he's yeah. like, brother, that letter, if you had told her, set her straight, you might not have got that letter because then that made him feel mad guilty. That's all. Like, it's, it's a knock on effect. It was dominoes. Yeah, but I would have just, I would have just gone with, I would have chosen Jessica. But aesthetically, Jessica is, but I think she's too much for him, though. Yeah, she, she was. She looks like she'll punch she's him in the face when she's sleeping when he's in bed. She was in I, bed. I wouldn't trust her next to me. Uh, Johnny and Amy was the, like the happy ever after couple. They were like, they didn't have no drama. Nothing. They got married. We, I thought when I was watching it, they were going to get married. It was just pretty bro, much. I'm a, you know, bad man don't cry, right? Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. When the dad... When the oh, dad was in the room yeah, and he was like... Yeah, he did, that, he did the speech. Yo, I was like this. I was watching. I was like, shit, hang on. Hold yeah, 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 yeah. It's deep. <laughs> it was deep. It was deep. onions. I was still wearing my hands or something. I was, was like, deep. yo, was this deep. is too much. Yeah, it was a lot. Shout out to, he was like, I don't, he, you know, he's like, I was very apprehensive of you going here. Yeah. And this experiment. But now I can see he loves you as much as I love yeah. you. And yeah, he's now deep. part of the family. I was like, shit. Yeah. Hey, I want to be part of that family. No, nah, he, yeah. So shout out to them. They, yeah. they kept it, they kept it good. They mm. were good. What about um, Kenneth and Brittany? Kenneth and Brittany. Can we, can we, no, let's skip them and let's go to the next, let's, let's get back to them. Let's get back to them. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to them. Right, let's go, go someone else. Who's he saying? Okay, oh, wow. let's go to man like, <laughs> the Gongargan, man like Jeremy and Lauren. Yeah? Jeremy and, La- oh, mate, Jeremy was a mess. Jeremy was with Laura. Well, he wasn't a mess because his kitchen, his, his, his apartment, his house and that was immaculate state, yeah, bro. Yeah, but you see what happened with them, yeah, is that Laura, I didn't like her. That, really? Yeah, Laura was, she's she's the worst type of woman to be with. You're right. She's the worst type of woman to be with because she's got that, she's got too much masculinity in her. And I could, mm. and the way that like when I was watching the program, she was just like she made. She remember she made that list 
on pros and cons list. I'm like, why are you making the list? Like, why can't you, again, why can't you um, have a relationship with a person just based on what you like about them and improve everything else? Like I didn't, when I met my wife, there's certain things that she didn't like about me originally, but I grew into certain things and I changed my ways and I did certain things. Yeah, but that's because you was prepared to do that. Whereas I think you did that when you were younger. These people here um, are more set in their ways because they've had more life experience. And I think for her, she just knew what she wanted. And I disagree. I think he was a piece of shit. Because he did not want her. He did he didn't. He didn't want her. He was playing, where, you think he was playing a game? Yeah, he was playing a game. And also, do you, uh, I mean, have you guys seen the reunion? Yeah. My guy was stuttering. <laughs> My guy was stuttering. My guy, he could not give an answer. And we know they linked up. We know um, he linked up with the other girl. And they Sarah Ann. Yeah. yeah. They, we, it's obvious, but they're sticking hard by their story. Well, the thing is, he, he, off, he, man. he looks like he with Laura, off. he was getting... Noodles, he was getting batted up. But then with Sarah, she was giving him like rice and peas. Like she looked, she's, bro, you Listen, see Sarah, yeah, Sarah's yeah. solid, you know. Yeah, you see so that, solid, you see yeah. that, so the girl that he's now seeing is Sarah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. So he has no choice. Both of them have no choice but to make that work now. You see how they're like, oh, we've moved in together. Da, da, da. They have to force that relationship yeah, to work that's now. That's true. Because otherwise he's done all that, this, yeah. that and the other to be a dickhead. I mean, I could you give him- funny. They had just said to each other, well, this ain't working out. And to be honest, Laura was very, like, she was very aggressive with it. He mm. was calm. Yeah. Okay, qu- qu- granted, what Keisha's saying, I agree with what she's saying, but he still had a certain calm demeanour about yeah, it while yeah, he's yeah. talking to her. He's like, screw you and my parents, and God forbid, I let you hold my dog. Fuck your dog, man. Yeah, no, screw- just, I don't yeah, give, yeah, yeah. Your dog is not a right of passage if I hold yeah, your but, dog. Yeah, but all right, I'm shit. not, I don't agree with that either, but you have to remember some people's pets are just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but she was making it such a big thing. Like, if if you don't hold my dog, it can't work. She and was then, the one that made made the issue of him wearing an Hawaiian shirt and. Little thing picking up. That's his personality. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then. Yeah. Sarah comes into the picture. Yeah, but they she's. They go to have a little talk. Well, next thing I see them to just jump on the jet ski. Yeah. It's almost like they're just fucked off. Right in front of their faces <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was, that was, right in front of their faces. And for her crazy. to be like, oh no, I didn't do it. I didn't DM you because of that. You definitely did. Do you, yeah, think that was, do you think that was produced, that part? Um, it was Possibly. Gangster. It was gangster. It was enhanced. It's the jet ski thing. <laughs> the jet ski thing, like. Jet ski and dust, bro. Yeah, that's mad. <laughs> Literally, and she's spraying, sitting, on, spraying and she's sitting on the edge of the be- beach, giving her, like, giving, like, talking about the situation. And I'm like, they don't even Literally care. Literally, jet skiing no. right past Laura and spraying <laughs> her. <laughs> Bro, gone. She and the thing is, as well, they weren't silent. They were like, woo yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, she, she, she looked like she, yeah. Okay, should you, as a man that's engaged um, and someone else that likes you, should you be accepting DMs from that person? If you accept them, then you have to show your partner them and let your partner know, look, babes, this DM's coming. Yeah. You know, hold on, wait a minute. That's what happened. Backtrack. That's what happened. That's what happened. just reminded me of something. Yeah. yeah this is, is, are, you, are you giving the real answer or the right answer? No, no, no. This just reminded me of something because I struggle with this at times right. where I'm scared to open up to people because I'm worried they're going to weaponize stuff. Yeah. And later on down the line. Me. Because we skated over this. Let's go back to Jimmy and Chelsea. Jimmy told Chelsea, mm-hmm. "My, I have some female friends. And one of them yeah. just so happened to... Move. Yeah. Need and our friendship grew because I put in a great session. Yeah. Well, he didn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> and they had their argument. Yeah. And she bowled that son of a bitch right up. And she went pow in his face. And yeah. threw it back in his face. Yeah. She's like, well, this is why I didn't want you to go out because I know you, you fucked her. And it's like, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. I told you that because I want to be transparent with you. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've had... she got issues, though. Brother. There was a lot of things he was transparent about and patient about and willing to apologise even though it wasn't him. And she... She was. She would always come back and be like, yeah, but you did. did, did, did. Like, fake crying and all that. She's, she's Pissing nuts. me off. Now, the reason why I can relate to this is... Right. I... I've been in a situation where I've dated two people and they're friends. 
Right. There's a certain level of friendship there. Right. Acquaintances, however you want to call it. But I chose my my being took more towards another person than it did the other person. I then made the executive decision to tell the other person that I was being more drawn towards. Right. This person and I have never done anything. Yeah. I just thought I have to tell him that right now because yeah. I don't want us to take it further. <laughs> and then the other person who's who's basically no longer in this uh, equation tries to add some spice to a situation that wasn't anything. Right. And try to make me look like a dickhead. Right. Oh, that's yeah. nice of you, Tris. So you I just thought I have to make the executive decision <laughs> to say that because it could be <clears> awkward <throat> if someone says something to someone else before you tell them and they give their... Come on, bro. If it doesn't yeah, come yeah, down no. for you, you know how many hands get into a story? Yes, peak. So I didn't like the fact that she did that. But anyway, back to Laura mm. and uh, Laura, Jeremy. Yeah, it's just look, my, <clears throat> what I got from that whole situation with Laura and Jeremy is obviously... Keisha mentioned it that she just knew what she wanted to be, who she mm. wanted to be with. I just felt like she came across very overbearing yeah. and um, mean girlish, mm. and I didn't, I wouldn't want to be around that type of girl, yeah. I, or I wouldn't invest my time with someone like that because I'd just be bad in them up all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got time. And for it that. makes you look crazy. And it makes you look crazy because yeah. then you're the guy that you're yeah. the aggressive don. Um, Kenneth and Brittany, let's go. Okay. Interracial relationships. She was. Nice. She Just to let you know, I don't like AD. From fine. from that conversation at the, the yes, yeah. there was a conversation that yes. um, yeah. she had with Kenneth at the AD bar. AD had with Kenneth at yeah. the bar. Yeah. She was like, so how? About and she was like, work? when you go back to the yeah, hood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just no. made it about no, she race. Said, she said, yeah. "Oh, do you know? Do you, uh, you something about said, raising mixed yeah, race uh, children? Do you know? Yeah. Can she raise mixed kids?" And I was like, "Whoa, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a bit. like what the hell? And do you know what?" <laughs> I do. I was that malicious? Her. Do you think that was a malicious thing? I think it was shady and malicious because maybe she thought that she's seen him and she maybe kind of likes him. My thing is she went out there to plant a seed and she knows as a black man in America, those things yep. are important. Yeah. And she went there to plant her seed and it worked because from there, so my I guy changed. To get him to plant a seed. Do you think that was it? Do you think that was it? That from there, he changed. Right. From there, he changed. Right. You could see a complete shift in his behavior, how he was talking with her, physical touch, everything was different. That's, it's so sad. Did you see when he was on the boat? Yeah, I yeah. remember that on the boat. Just hearing waves. Yeah, yeah, That yeah. was awkward. That was awkward. <laughs> no, you know what? At one point, I thought, did I turn the volume down? And I turned it up, and it's like, oh, and I, re I, I hit rewind. I was like, yeah. Oh. It yeah. was literally just, and then she was, bless her cotton socks, was like, Trying to, and she's like, "Oh, dolphins!" Or did he see it? And he's like, "Oh my god!" And they I both were like, and he was like, "Oh, I didn't want to get excited about it," but he was holding back on purpose. But you might because... be, you might be right, you know, Keish, because when you think about what happened at the reunion, and they had this whole thing discussion about they're still friends, they talk to each other every, every day. day. They have the key like components you, for them like, to actually like have a relationship. Like, like, why are you fighting that? Like, why yeah. are you trying to? Because because she's white and you're black. Stop, stop right. doing that. You know like, what? Yeah, I dismiss Kenneth. Straight away. As soon as I first saw him, I was like, bun him. Really? Right. Why? Are you serious? Because I felt he bun was like out. he was like a piece of furniture there. Right. Until I see him walk into the pot and I was like, Well, oh, hang on a minute, what's going on here then? And then when he started speaking, first of all, brother, with all due respect, and I know black don't crack. You're at least 55, my G. You, there's yeah. no way you're 25. He's got, uh, yeah. 25. He, he said he's like 25. He's 25, 20. yeah. It's Brother, 25. You, either you've seen a lot he's of a, things. He's a, he's, a, he's a head teacher. Was. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a principal. He's a principal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right term as principal. Yeah? yeah. Um, I was at girl at school. But I, warm, I, I, I started rooting... <laughs> I, I was rooting for him. And then I was like, yeah, I, I was respect, too. I respect how he was talking and he was being honest about certain things. And I was like, all right, I'm rooting for this guy. So he went from bottom of the list for me to like, you know what, brother? I'm rooting for you and the yeah. other brother who we'll get to shortly. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brittany is, for, I think she was the best one there. Brittany bit. was Brittany was calm. She was. Mm, She's she hot. Was, she was meaty. She's she so had hot. meat on her. And you know it is. Happy for him. yeah. I think it's his loss, to be honest with you, because she seems like a great woman. But yes. 
there were little things she was doing that even was getting me a little like weird. What? Was that? Relaxed. What was that? Okay, so do you have a preference which side you want to put? Babes, just put yourself in the thing. Yeah. Keep moving. The, yeah. All that which side. And, yeah, but, but you know what it is? She just wants she wants to be submissive, isn't it? She that's wants to love be that. she I wants to that. fall in line and be like, babe, I love that. what's your side of the bed? What's it cause you know how like people have a I have a side. There's nobody you're sleeping on a certain side of the bed. Yeah, the bed, fine. But I just the, the I just felt Yeah, that but when you then, get off the bed to go to the drawer, you might not want to go left. You might want to go right. And you might have your stuff in your drawer yeah. on a certain side or have your t-shirt somewhere. It's, it's, I think All right, Keisha, you know what? You, you, you've convinced me that. Yeah. Okay, so She's I'm, just I'm making gonna, sure. Yeah. You see how a real woman, yeah, will make sure in every element, things are in that household the way you want it. She's creating that home yeah. for that man. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take that back then. I'm going to take my hot take back. But I... Also thought she was doing that because she f- saw how glued he was to his phone. What was this? What was this? Every and I was minute. just like, "What's this every minute?" If there's something you got to get off your chest, just get off your chest because you're being mad disrespectful. Like, to like, her right, cool. phone like let's that. let's keep it up. You recognize I, that. I like I like social media like everyone else, but if I'm with a ting, bun so- no, he was bun he, social he was, media. Yeah, no, my phone. He was playing back to emails and stuff. That was the same because um, the backlog because he's a principal. Yeah, the backlog of emails and stuff. However. Oh, their emails. If they were there two weeks ago, they can wait another principles day. Principal's on holiday, bro. Speak to your girl, rub her down. You never know, she might bust it open. Yeah, bro, he could have, bro, he didn't have no game. Yeah. And he looked bare, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's like he was just like, didn't have, he didn't have it, bro. It's like. almost like, you know what it felt like? It felt like the holiday romance where you go on holiday, you meet up with this girl, you lot have the time of your life. You're both in a, you come back. In a common yeah, place. Yeah. And then you get back and you're like, huh. Cause she, but because she said, because this is the thing, she said that she's, she, she basically said she's not attracted to him physically, right? That's how it was in the kitchen. The conversation in the kitchen was like, she's not yeah, she, getting yeah. nothing. She's, she's not getting nothing from him. And then he said, I came in one night and I tried to wake you up and with the wood and you did, weren't reciprocated. First of all, you can't, the shop was that's closed. not, like you can't, I, and you can't kind of, like you can, I. I mean, I can get away with it. But what we're saying is, I'm not. Oh no. God, time stop that, yo, time stop that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, uh, hey, you can't say it on YouTube. Uh. Can you not? I'm oh, sorry. Woo! <laughs> uh, Start again. So, uh, who have we not? Who have we not spoken about? Then? All right, let's move on. Who have we not spoken Clay about? Clay and AD. Clay. Clay and AD. Okay. Can I cook, please? Cool. No, actually, you know what more? Because I've. Can I still take the onions? Yeah. Go, go ahead, go, go ahead. Go Whoever go wants to. I, I'll. I'll uh, I'm yeah. putting the oil in the frying go pan. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead right. please. So, Clay and AD. Clay, he has trauma that he didn't realize he had yeah. until he went through this process. Facts. A lot of people are saying, oh, you know, well, you shouldn't have gone on the show. Duh, 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 duh. He wasn't ready to be a husband, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think he didn't realize he was not ready for a wife until he got in that experiment. Right. Um, what do you mean? He, 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 wasn't being, he didn't realize how serious... He didn't realize that his, his it trauma, was. how much it affected him. Right, to, right, to right, be Because he wants to be a certain type of man. Yeah. But what he didn't realize is that the, he his ready. parents' situation... Yeah. Mm, has clouded his judgment on what right. he believes a man or a husband should be. Right. Because all he kept saying was like, my dad and yeah. my parents, blah, blah. What did and his dad do? His dad basically his dad was bringing p- him around with yeah. him. Yeah. Bringing him around the women he was cheating on his mum with. Yeah. And he never used to say anything. But that's the thing. It's one, look, there's no right way or wrong that way of interaction, cheating. But it's the fact that you're bringing... The, the the child that you bed with yeah. uh, his mother with your partner and he's just got to not say women. nothing. Yeah. He never said anything. Kids aren't he was stupid, a child. bruv. That's the biggest problem in society. They think kids are stupid. Kids aren't dumb. They just yeah. don't know how to articulate their words. And 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 to be fair, let's keep it one hundred. Your fear, your parents have a big or negative or positive impact, uh, impact on you. Grossly. Yeah, hundred percent. And his main thing. Well, I don't know if you guys saw. Did you see the interaction between his parents? Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was, I, I might have fell asleep. Watch. Maybe. I might have missed well, that boy. Bit. They like, had an interaction like and the yeah. mum basically checked the dad and said, because yeah. actually the mum found out during the sh- only when the show aired about him and bringing his his, her, their son. Not bringing no, the not son. the infidelities, but bringing the son around the different women. Yeah. 
Wow. So she yeah. checked. She Raising checked the the dad. Yeah. There at the wedding on the wedding day. Because he tried to say something slick like, you know what? I hope my son finds someone as good as good as you. And then she was like, listen. She kind of said to him, yeah, I know it was good to you, but you, you were didn't bad treat to me, me right. Yeah. And I was like, well, holy moly, guacamole. Yeah. yeah. And you can tell she was a good woman. Oh, it is yeah. a good woman. Sorry. Yeah. AD was carrying a lot of baggage. Uh, Sorry, Clay was carrying a lot of baggage. AD yeah. was definitely ready to do the whole thing. Yeah, and I and I felt really bad for her when he cut. Like yeah. when he cut and that episode and he was like, no, I can't do this. And he walks off. I was like, I Keesh. personally do not think AD um, was ready for marriage either. No? Nope. Why? Um, Clay didn't know anything about her financial situation. But she didn't, didn't know anything. Did she have bread? Well, she was just ready to just move into his and just enjoy the fruits of his labor. <laughs> right, 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 um, right. And complaining about that, that he didn't spend enough time with her while right, he was working. Yeah, but if you want a man that's got pee and yeah, money and yeah, got his got shit to together, ambition, yeah, then, you've, got to, you've yeah. got to be his pillar. But basically. And she wasn't, she was saying it like, you know, I'm riding with you to the wheels fall yeah, off, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. um, or her eyelashes fall off, whatever it is. Um, but you lot won't get that as a girl. No, 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 no. I got that. I they just were was, terrible. I was just trying my best not to point to that because it was, it was a tr- man. You could see them shits from the side. Yeah. She wasn't ready to be, oh, it sounds so bad. I feel really bad saying it, but she's not ready to be someone's wife. Okay. And because she. That's interesting. She just, one, didn't have her own shit together. Yeah. And two, she wasn't understand. You see when he actually left her at the altar and said no, or she walked off or whatever. She led, uh, let me rewind and backtrack. She led a lot with her figure yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah. her body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, yeah. I'm in the gym. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Like mm. she led a lot with that because other stuff was lacking. So I feel like she, she got him with the physical attraction. And yeah. because this is love is blind. It just meant that the whole experiment was irrelevant because she was then when when she was in front of him, it was like all about physical attraction. But then it, the reunion, but at the reunion, it seemed like they still was a they still there was something there. Well, this because is what I'm he, ask changed, the he changed. So Keith, if you're AD, yeah, based on everything he told you at the altar, I'd understand. And then after when it was just you two alone in the room where she mm. got ready in the Mister yeah. Mister stuff and all that, I hope they ate that food, man. That food looked good. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that spread was right. But he said to her, I'm not going anywhere. I just can't do the marriage thing. Yeah. As a woman. She said right there, no, I'm done, blah, blah, blah. But she was obviously highly emotional in that moment, yeah. which yeah. is very understandable. Yeah, of course. Understandable. Yeah. Very understandable. But at the same time, I got what he meant was, I'm not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not yeah. ready to be the man that you need me to be. Yeah. If a man said that to me, well, you guys know I was engaged and yeah. I was with somebody. If if I had that conversation before, I would have appreciated that so much more because right, right. you're just being honest and be like, babe, I'm not ready. Yeah. I am not ready. Rather than lead you down the path blind, then get to the get to like be married and whatever and be like, no, I'm not ready for that, mm-hmm. that, 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 or that. Yeah. I think what he did was very honorable and there needed to be more understanding as to why he said no. I th- I think I think um, Clay was very in tune with who he was as a human, mm. and I didn't like originally. I thought you're making excuses about your father and all that yeah. sort of stuff. But then I when I, at the beginning as well, actually. When I, when I as I as I got on and I understood the whole situation a little bit more, I was like, right, he actually articulated himself very well on the show. He made his points very potent. He explained, like even in the reunion, and explained. He's like, "Look, I was, I know, I upset you, and I know certain things I did wasn't right." He's but, aware, but he, he's he was very so aware of, of of who he was, and I and I respected that. I really did respect the way that he came across on on the show, mm. and that's all you can do. Like, and he said that he went to therapy. He's having therapy. Yeah, he went. Yeah, he's, and he's trying to deal with the shit that he's gone through. Um. And I really applaud him. I think he's done really, really well. Um, and there just needs to be more grace for him. 100%. And the fact that AD doesn't want to like, for me personally, I would have waited for him because yeah. he's everything that she wants, but he's just not ready right now. Yeah. And he said it. Yeah. yeah and he yeah. said it. He said, yeah. I'm not going anywhere, blah, blah, blah. But she's out there, dates, this, that, and the other. Fine, do your thing because you're going to yeah. lose something. 
You're going to lose that man. And that man is a good man, you can tell. He's a good man, Savannah. And I feel like, like even even though even he was going through his therapy and all of that stuff, it's only going to make him stronger. It's only Listen, going to make him more in tune. He is going to have Gallum. people queuing. Yeah. Oh, the sympathy, the sympathy squad for him? Yeah, the sympathy oh, squad. Sorry. The... the, the yeah, the sympathy squad that they got for him is is amazing. It's not even the sympathy thing. It's actually recognising... I think we touched on this last episode. Having the platform for men to be able to actually say what they want to say. The fact yeah. that he said he's dealing with his demons and trauma yeah, yeah. on a show in front of everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's saying, look, I am not ready as a man. I fucked up. I've got trauma. I need to deal with it. Yeah. Is such a, like, I don't know. It's so good because... He was even speaking to that other guy that was on the show once, wasn't he? The 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 black couple that was sitting in the front. Mm, yeah. I've forgotten them. Yeah, yeah who who just like who, they yeah, had a moment because he could yeah. understand and relate. But he was right in yeah. saying, you know, I didn't feel like I was ready, but my woman, yeah, helped me become that man that I needed to be as right. a husband. Which which maybe that could work for them. Yeah, but I just don't think Ad is the person for her. Him. <sighs> yeah, and I. I, I uh, yeah, I felt like she should have met him halfway in that yeah. respect. While he, because the worst, what's what's the what's the worst um, the other scenario? He said I do, and it only works out for like yeah, two, yeah. three months. Yeah, it all goes. So to I felt pay. like she, yeah. while I pop. understand in the heat of the moment, she's like, "Get out of my face, brother!" But I felt like she should have met him halfway in regards to like, "All right, cool. You know what? Let me just. I need time to deal with this." And then let's have a conversation at some point, as opposed to running and going on dates with Matt, who Matthew, who's who just look, he looks like he he he's got a few bodies on his hands. And right. I like the fact he didn't eat the finish off the plant in fritters, bro. Like, <laughs> so is there anyone else we need to? Is there anyone else we need to talk about? Is that everyone? I think that was everybody. That was uh, it. Yeah, that was everybody. What about Sarah? Did you think? How do you think Sarah played she her got, hand? She got cooked. Yeah. She got cooked on the show because yeah. obviously she sent that text. Um, she just wasn't. She, she wasn't going to run it better. She, yeah, but then she when I spoke to, she got a DM Laura and say, "Laura, I need to speak to you." Yeah, this she, is what she I'm just still, I'm, I, I can't. While I accept what's happened, but I, yeah. it, I, I still feel like me and him had a connection. And, and yeah, and then let him. She didn't handle yeah. it right. She didn't handle the situation right. But I can understand why she did reach out to Jeremy because. She might think that that's her soulmate. That yeah. might be her love yeah, of her course. life. She's yeah. like, I'm not losing it over. But, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's the way she went about it. The man was cho- made his choice already. So you kind of yeah. looked desperate. Yeah, you did. She did come across a little bit. Yeah, and they 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 bullied on the reunion. Can we quickly before we before we sign out on the on on Love Is Blind? How did um, what was my name with the mullet that got cooked? Oh Trevor. my gosh, Tra- Trevor! You know the mad thing. My was, guy I looked was like, like he's gonna cry. I was like, Yo, Chelsea, you made the wrong decision. Like when it was happening, I was yeah, like, "Yo, yeah. you need to get this Trevor done because he's been consistent with you." Jimmy's mm. been like, "Well, yeah, Jimmy had a couple." You see of how she tried to play like, "Ah, oh, it was a sign. That's why it didn't work out. That's why." Yeah, no, no, don't try it. Try it in the reunion. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, try, don't try it. Don't yeah. try it. You're full of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah about yeah. you know, always just on to Jimmy about, "Are you okay? And do you think I'm pretty? And are you attracted to me?" And, and it felt like she was just using sex to keep him around. Yeah, to the point is. where Jimmy was like, you just keep throwing that thing at me. She's I ain't very really insecure. on it. Like that. She's very insecure. Obviously, yeah. do you remember the interaction between him and AD? Oh, wow. When he said, oh, yeah, she's got cheeks. But she kind of assisted right, that, you right. know? Right, right. So let me, let me say, this is where I had my first problem with that girl was, because woman, girl, whatever, is... Megan. Megan. Because she... He told her, like, oh, yeah. She's stacked. Yeah, yeah. To her. Pancakes, yeah. Next week, she's saying it out loud. Yeah. And then going, oh, oh, you gave her so much attention. I'm just there by the bar by myself. Do you know what I did? I actually watched back that ep- that part of the episode. Yeah. And she chose to take herself all the way down to the other bit of the beach or yeah, bar or whatever yeah, yeah. and seclude herself to yeah. be like, oh, poor me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling Women I'm like feeling that are sick. so dangerous. Yeah. She's so dangerous. And also... Uh, AD wouldn't have be having a conversation with your man if you didn't go. Oh, so and so said that you're. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you get what I mean? Yeah, it was a setup. She set him up to go speak to because AD. she was insecure and didn't like the fact that he said it. If she did, oh. and then when they got home, oh, what's wrong? Saying to him, what's wrong? What's wrong? 
when really she has the problem. Yeah, he does. She was like, what's problem. wrong? He, she, he's like, nothing. What's wrong with you? What's, what's wrong with you? And she goes, yeah. well, I just find it funny how, like immediately straight yeah, away, yeah, yeah. she knew. See those situations I just couldn't tolerate. And there's, there's That's that, from when he should have just zipped it. Yeah, there's a lot of things. That, that was dangerous. And that's the thing with men, yeah. What we have to do as men, and I think we're going to conclude here, yeah. is that we don't see red flags enough in women. And vice versa, women too. Um, <laughs> we, like, we just don't know how to make choices, the right choices in yeah. our partners. Like we see things, like we're watching Love is Blind. We're watching the people on there making a ton of mistakes. And let's not get twisted. They're not kids. These no. are, some of them have been married. Some of them have children. Some of them are in, have situations. But it's like, you, don't you learn from these things? And I get it. It's a show. The producers are probably yeah, in your yeah, ear and certain yeah, yeah, things yeah, sure. and all of them things there. But still, stand on your 10 toes and go, look, this is not what I tolerate. Mm -hmm. And this is what I tolerate. And if most people did that in relationships, you'd have better ones, one. Yeah. And you you wouldn't be wasting your time with most You have people. to go through the process and filter out the bullshit. Do you get what I mean? 100%. Like, you're going to get... You're not just going to... Some people are lucky enough to just find their person. And yeah. then you're just happy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the use, the over usage of let's go. Like yeah. that was getting too, <laughs> too much, bro. Yeah. Like it's it was, American it's, 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 Everything was a let I'm going to the bathroom. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that's and AD was doing a bit too much at the reunion for me. Just with them little ad libs and coming across very. Ghetto. Yeah. And I was like, AD got relaxed. And the outfit as well. While AD has got a nice build in her. I just felt like that outfit was just a little. Ooh. Which one? At the reunion, AD. Oh, yeah, yeah, see through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Was a little considering everyone else, and she just stuck out like a sore thumb. Like Jessica had a little thing; she's trying to clear it to show Jimmy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I brought there's the girls. Be, there, there's being classy, and then there's just being outright ratchet. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, all the people that um, have listened to this have got spoilers, and and hey, what? Sorry, it. that's your business. That's your business. Yeah, season yeah. six, the, the reunion. Yeah, out, but, so but, you must but, have yeah, it by exactly. That. Yeah. But you know, hit, hit, you know, drop something in the comment section. Let us know who your favorite couple. Yeah, your favorite Who's couples. Your favorite couple? Let us know who your favorite couples mm. were or your least favorite couples, and don't just say. And who was you disappointed that didn't work out? Yeah. <laughs> That's why she's here. That's why she's here. It's the Trizzy and Morgan show. Show. Keith, what you got for us then? Oh, I think we should get off the seriousness and go into the games. Let's go for do some games. Let's, Let's games, go. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, see, oh my gosh, I'll get in trouble. Oh my god. All right. Talk so to me, Trizzy. Two, two, okay, two truths, one two lie. Two truths yeah? and one lie. I've got so, uh, what we do, one round or two rounds? Ooh, okay, if we're doing two rounds, hold on, let said. me get my let me see. Hello, let me get my uh, let me get my second uh, <laughs> set of questions in then. All right, cool. all right. If you got your two, have you you got some ready? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I brought I'm born ready. <laughs> not like not not in the last part with them dad jokes. Well, let's go. <laughs> Rock paper scissors. Oh yeah. This guy. I was wondering what you're doing. I'm there. Right. Nah, do that again. <laughs> it was delayed. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, go. Was it after three, right? Yeah, one, two, three, right, go. Let's go. On, on key, she's All right, ready? So after, when she says three, then we're going to show our hand. One, yeah? two, three, go. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, go. You go first. Okay. Da, 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 da. Two truths, one lie. Go for it. One J. Okay. <laughs> I lost my virginity under a tree. Mm -hmm. I've met Mariah Carey. I've slept with my brethren's girl and he sent me a video of her performing fellatio to let me know, brother, I know you've been cheating with my girl. That's the lie. What kind of tree? Sycamore? What are we talking about? Which that's one's the lie? The lie the, the, that's the lie. The, the last one where you, the, the fellatio and your brethren. Is that what? your final answer? It just seems so long-winded that no, because you because you kind of it's almost like you didn't understand what I was saying. So I, but if that's your final answer, yeah, that's my final. Say answer. the sentence again because I okay, I'll give you the condensed version. I'll give you the freedom again. Okay, I've met Mariah Carey. Yeah, I lost my virginity under a tree. Yeah, my brother sent me a video of his girl and me getting up to to confirm that he knows we've been doing something doing on the side. Thing. I, I I feel like you've met Mariah Carey because it's just a, you've been in so many scenarios with B BBC One Extra. Shout out to Mariah, love you. That, that's that's and then under the sycamore tree is a thing that you, I 
you probably did in Dominica when you went back home and something like that. I still think it's the last one. So I'm going to ask you again, is that your final answer? Final answer. All right. You can't take it back now, yeah? That's your final answer. Keish? Um... Wait, do I know which one's the truth and lie? Which one's a lie? Which one's a lie? What I just said. I don't know. I think. Oh, you're asking me what do I think? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Um. Sorry. <laughs> I think. Dun, 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 dun. The first one is the lie. Uh, the first one would be Mariah Carey. I thought the second one was Mariah Carey. No, the first one was Under the Tree. It was Under the Tree. I think so, Under the Sycamore Tree. Get, okay, cool. So, I yeah. think Under the Sycamore Tree yeah. is the lie. Okay, cool. So your third first, Jojo. What do you say? No, if it's not the, the last one, don't, I, I, I'm going to change the way I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if it's not the last one. I, Go yeah, true. Because morally, so, what the hell? Yeah, go for it. I mean, things happen. Yeah, right. Damn. So that's your okay. So the truth was the the two truths were Mariah Carey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my brethren. No, I'm joking. Oh, um, under the, the tree. Oh Dirty my Mac goodness. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I was trying to say. I knew it. I knew it. You know why? I just knew the. I just knew the way he. Nice peak. The way that he explained it. We see when people lie, they talk too much. They say too but much. Also, as well, when you said the third one on the whole cheating thing, yeah, you looked up. Okay, see there. one of the one of the first right. things you. Oh really? When you lie, so that's okay, a, I actually you look up to your right. So I'm telling you, women are scary. <laughs> I, I, actually, <laughs> I actually looked up to throw the set away, like oh, really to make it sick. I yeah. thought I was doing it for all of them, so uh, it's like you couldn't read my face. Okay, all right, well done. All right, go ahead, Morgs. Over to you, King. Um, I saved my dad's life when he crawled up the stairs after choking on a fishbone. Okay, I uh, had a pet tortoise called Tom. And I swam in the Red Sea. Um, I'm going to go with... What was the second one? I had a pet tortoise called Tom. See, this is the one I want to pick, but based on the surroundings we were in, I feel like you would name a pet Tom, though. Damn. <sighs> What are you trying to say? I, I, <laughs> a man but then again, based on the uh, your your history of the uh, the the, the, the woman you dated, oh. Tom having some one of them could have given you a turtle and called it Tom, and you just had to accept that it's called Tom. Mm-hmm. Your pops, shout out to your pops, big up my pops. Um, fishbone, yeah, yeah. He looks like a donny that likes fried fish. Yeah, That's yeah. a West Indian thing, though. Yeah. So that. Seems like a truth as well. And the Red Sea, I feel like I remember you said, actually, you know what? I'm going with the, the fucking turtle. Excuse my friend. I'll go with the turtle. I'm going with the turtle as the lie. Okay. Quiche? I'm going with the turtle as the lie. Quiche? Um, I'm going with number one. I saved my dad's life when he crawled up the stairs after choking a fishbone. On a fishbone. Joe Montano. Well, the Red Sea's in Africa. So. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> yeah, but I, I believe yeah, I've know. seen pictures or remember him Joe, telling me that he went to... Um, Joe, that's what, Joe yeah. National the Geographic yeah. in the building. National Geo Donny over there. <laughs> so, either, so either means you've been to Africa and you lied, so you've never been to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Africa. All right, cool. Then that changes it. I've been to Africa. I'm going to go fishbone. So, fishbone. Fishbone. Turtle. The lie is that I swam in the Red Sea. Yeah, I knew it. Wow. The lie. Yeah. My dad. You can't swim. Me and my, bro, me and my broski was on a, com- on, on a computer one evening. And just weirdly, I just see my dad crawling up really? the stairs onto the top of the landing into the bathroom and put in, put, and it was put, he had his head over the toilet and we ran and it was banging my dad's back. Boop, 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 boop. Cause you could just hit me. I didn't know what he was choking, but he was choking. 
Bah, 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 bah. So I said to my brother, Teeks, I said, go downstairs and get crackers. He ran downstairs, went in the cupboard, got like some crackers and just made my dad swallow it and it pushed it down. Mm-hmm. We saved my dad's life that evening. And we were planning to go with my mum. My mum my mom was out and we were planning, like we was begging my mum to go. Like, come take us with him. If we weren't there, don't know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Sane, man. Sane no more. So I got points right now. Who's got, I got a point. Yeah. And who, no, none of you lot guessed the, None of these, I'm, yeah, I'm yes, the, right, round, two, round two, let's go. Uh, round two, you need to start because, uh, yeah, I didn't know it was going two rounds. Okay, um, I was asked to be a body double in a film in 2010. Mm-hmm. I was supporting act for Killer Keller, LL Cool J Clips and Slick Rick at the B-Boy Championships in 2004. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know that I had two brothers and a sister until I met them for the first time at my grandma's funeral when I was 31. Which is the tr- two truths and which one is the lie? Uh, you ain't got to lie, I'm going to go last on this one. So, one is- The lie for me is I was asked to be a body double for a film in 2010. In the okay. Other two or three. Okay. Joe Montana. Say the second one because you added an act that wasn't part of that list. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Number two, Kid Keller, LL Cool J supporting act. Because you said clips as well, right? Clips, yeah. Okay. CJ. The the first one was um, it's body double. Yeah. That's the truth. The second one was Killer Killer thing. And then what was the third one again, sorry? I met two brothers and a sister at my grandma's funeral. I didn't know them. You added a sibling that wasn't there. I'm, I'm going with the, the last one. You added a the first two are two on brand, which might be the which might be a red herring. The first one, I know, I feel like the first one, 1,000%. Okay. I even think I know the location of that one. So you're saying body double. Mm. You're saying B-Boy Championships. Mm. And you're saying the the uh, relative one. Um, so the the lie is the body double. Really? Yeah. Hold on, but what did you, you filmed for? A f- I was in a movie but it wasn't body in 2010, double. but I wasn't Shit, a body double. man. That's why I was like, <laughs> like I, was, I remember the film, but I, d- I was in the big I am with Harvey. And Michael Madsen, Leo Gregory, but I wasn't a body double. Do you know why? It's because I was thinking, if he's going to be body double, who would he be? The body double for? Smart, yeah. Smart. Smart. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You missed it, Drizzy. Yeah. Um, all right. Point. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, right. Last one. All right. Cool. So, <coughs> excuse me. Growing up, I cashed, uh, sorry, I cashed. Sorry, growing up, I crashed my brethren's car and I didn't tell him about it. Yeah. But he knows now. <laughs> um, yeah. I was going to, I modeled for a magazine uh-huh. and I almost lost my brother to a cockroach. You know what? I shouldn't laugh because somebody's. <laughs> 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 Bro, wait. You, lost, you almost lost your brother to a cockroach? Yeah. Was the cockroach a man? Or was he was name cockroach or was he an actual cockroach? First of all, we didn't ask you any questions like this. Okay. Your yeah. ones. Okay. Hello, so you just <laughs> hello <laughs> cock in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. I um I think the lie is the cockroach. Pause. Okay. It's my final answer. It's my final answer. What was the first one again? So, growing up, I crashed my brethren's car and I didn't tell him. Second one was I modeled for a magazine and the third one was I almost lost my brother to a cockroach. I say cockroach, yeah, pause. Because that's what it's called. Because that's what it's called. 
but I feel like I'm be, being duped because it's like it's so weird <laughs> but it might actually be the truth but I'm going with that I'm sticking to my my guns yeah. Saint Joe, I'll go first one. Yeah? yeah, okay, cool. So that's one. Keish, three, and what's Keish saying? <laughs> I think the cockroach one's a lie. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Two cockroaches and a. <laughs> and a get car. It? <laughs> All right. So the lie here is not the cockroach one. Okay. The lie here is not the modeling one. Mm. Oh, yeah. The lie here is I've crashed my bridges car, not told you. I should have gone with no, that no. one. I knew it was that one. I should have gone because you don't drive. Oh, no, I, I do. Just look legally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I said I growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, I have yeah, driven yeah, yeah. my bridges car when I was growing up. I have I done that. Have that. So <sighs> there is a bit of truth to it, but I just never crashed the car. So And yeah. the lie is that he didn't know. And now he yeah, does. Because Juicy wouldn't do that, I don't think. Um, but the, because I know this, you was infatuated. So, so the the thing is, so um, when I was walking, I think I was down Oxford Street, and someone was like, "Excuse me, can I?" T-? You know, them days is very apprehensive to stop and speak yeah, to people, and it's like, yeah. "Oh, you got very unique features, like your height, you got freckles, and I had canals at that time, braids and that." Um, so there's like, "Oh, would you um, mind taking a card and can we exchange details, and then we will call you." Just want to get you in for photo shoots. Right. So it's like me and some other ones. It's kind of like a young London. Right, just right, right. kind of say how diverse London is and like unique and whatever. Anyway, now the cockroach story is my mum was expecting my brother Matthew. Right. But my mum has, if you put her in a room and there's any, certain things can fly around, she be like, whatever. But when it comes to cockroaches, she panics. She loses all sense of wow. stability. Wow. So she was at the top of the stairs. <sighs> See how these stairs are in conversations. Seriously. And a cockroach flew by. Oh. And she lost almost it. lost it to the point where going down the stairs. But she kind of just held onto the banister, but just shouted out. That would be me. Oh my God, she's a cockroach. And she kind of like, you know, had a moment. Yeah. And my brother, he wasn't born yet. He was, yeah. But he, he, he he's blessed and all that. But wow. that way he could have yeah, gone the other way. Could've, so, yeah. Could have gone really left. Really These left. two Donnies are bonkers. 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 So, I mentioned it before in the last episode. Yes, you did. Um, that I lost weight. I lost 14 pounds. Which, hey. is, which is the equivalent of a stone. And um, the... the the process I went through yeah. was was by fasting. Mm-hmm. I literally, uh, I've been struggling with a lot of uh, confidence, and it's weird because I'm I, I used to be a recording artist and I do a podcast be in front of the camera. I'm always whatever. in front of the camera. Blah mm-hmm. blah blah. So you would think that would be a bit strange to say, but I always struggled behind the scenes. I struggled for a long time with my weight. It happened really around the the the, the, uh, the lockdown, Pandemic. Yeah. yeah, and and I just couldn't re- I couldn't shake it. I was going to the gym, still wasn't working, um, and I had these mad cravings uh, for sweets because I've got a sweet tooth, a serious one. What's, this, what's your sweet of choice? Just chocolate, bro. Like, uh, okay. Yeah? yeah, chocolate is like like I've, good I, for the soul though. As I've well. sat. I've sat down and had a whole gatto and eating it like a meal that's I respect, I respect that though gatto <laughs> no nah, at least you committed to <laughs> Wait, eating gatto. the whole thing gatto, gatto the cake gatto yeah. cake i've yeah. sat and eat, just eaten the whole gatto did you have a cup of tea with it the water I, I took some water i had yeah, some water yeah, yeah. Some, oh, it's a healthy option good, yeah, yeah, yeah. so when people go to mcdonald's can i get a double triple juice burger with this, and a diet this, coke this? oh and a diet coke yeah okay. um but yeah, I went through, <laughs> I went through like a real, real, real hard time trying to just navigate on what to do to lose uh, weight. Have you ever seen Matilda? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, if basically, um, I went online, yeah, and I and I looked into fasting because I just didn't, I just didn't really understand it. It was just like an option that I just wanted to, yeah. 
just have a look down and see what I could do. And I stumbled across a couple of people, a doctor called Dr. Pardeep Jamidas and a guy called Jerome who um, has a, a channel on YouTube called Finally Fasting. So shout out to him because he helped me. He's helped me a lot. Um, and anyway, like I was just looking into the pros and cons of it, like what I should do, what I shouldn't do. And then when I started to do the research on it, fasting helps with obesity, diabetes, mm-hmm. um, cardiovascular disease and cancer. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, these are quite big things. Massive things, right? Pause. So anyway, I, first I record, I recorded my weight and I was 18 stone. Mm-hmm. I, that was like on the 12th of February yeah. and I started fasting. Yeah. I started with a 47 hour fast. Wow. Okay. Took a break. Mm-hmm. And then I went on a 67 hour fast okay. and took a break. Now in hindsight, that was too aggressive. Strict that I, I I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you speak because I have experience with fasting, but carry on. Uh, in hindsight, that yeah, was too aggressive. That's crazy, but it still had major major benefits. Yeah, of course, of course. Because what it really did was it reset my whole body. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I started to, because I was worried about oh, um, how am I going to feel like headed and, and all that. Yeah, 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 and I was yeah. working, I was working and mm-hmm. fasting. Right. So my my job at the moment is quite physical. Yeah. And I had no problems. Mm-hmm. In fact, I had more energy. I felt a lot better mentally. I was sharper. Yeah. Um, I was just felt really, uh, I really felt really good. And I had like little aches and pains, chest pains, mm. little aches and pains. I stopped getting those pains. Yeah. Um, and it kind of made me really, really analyze what I was eating at home. So I literally yeah. told, told the missus to like, look, get rid of, what of that crap I'm not having it no more um, and to be fair the reason why I said I went over the top it, it was just because I just when you're fasting you should always maybe start with a day mm-hmm. and then go back to eating and yeah. then mm-hmm. do another day then go back to eating and gradually gradually fall Weed into doing longer longer days of fasting or yeah. longer longer hours of fasting where I feel like because I just had enough I just went yeah, head, yeah, I just yeah, went yeah. head first yeah, pause yeah. and I was just like this is what I'm going to do and um literally it's changed my life. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. Like even I'm sitting here on the podcast today I haven't eaten anything. I've just had water. I know and I just sat here and waxed off a whole McDonald's I've in front had, of you. Yeah, I've had water, I've had a coffee. Yeah. But um, it, and I don't feel any weaker. I don't feel, I, in fact, I feel really good. Energized. Do you know what? I did that, um, so separately. Yeah. Well, I did the complete opposite during lockdown. I yeah. actually got healthy during lockdown. Yeah. Um, and I fasted like you. Mm-hmm. I said, I do the fasting and only had water and only eat on the weekends. Yeah. And... Then Monday to Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, then Saturday, Sunday eat. But when I was eating on Saturday and Sunday, I was like only wanting like a fruit smoothie or okay. like, right. You'd, I didn't really, I wasn't hungry for like the fast a big food, meal, a big meal, meal or anything like that. Or the yeah. meals. Yeah. Or if I was, it was like vegetables and yeah. vegetable stir fry, that yeah. kind of stuff like mm-hmm. clean because you're like, my body feels clean. Yes. I want to just put good things in it. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. So lady. wood. So yeah. That's natural. <laughs> <laughs> organic. Yeah, it's it's organic. Um, organic. <laughs> organic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just I understand and can relate to you about like it starts with the eating. It really, really does because really there was does. a time where I wasn't shifting weight as well, and yep. I was like. How on earth? How do you do it? How do you do it? And I was going gym. It wasn't coming off. No. If anything, when I was going to scale, it was going up. I was like, what the yeah. hell is going on? Because you're putting on muscle. Yeah. Because yeah. you're eating the rubbish and it's just turning into, the sugar's turning into muscle. The Everything you're eating is just turning into muscle. Warning people, um, if you're interested in fasting, be careful. Um, because if you've got diabetes, it's, it's a very risky fasting. Um, also don't take what we're saying as bible because yeah. we are not health experts we're not telling you to do the same thing yeah. 
So yeah, um, I'll, yeah. Gun. Speak and, to and, a and, diet. And speak to a doctor. Or a nutritionist. Well, mind you, when you say speak to a doctor, a doctor would advise you not to fast. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have to really navigate, like basically go on your own journey with it. But do just do as much research as possible. And obviously, if you're pregnant, you can't fast as well. Mm. That's, that's, a no, that's a no-go. So just understand um, there is certain people that aren't, ain't, ain't, aren't able to do it. Mm. Before you um, take over, Drizzy, um, my insulin was super high. Oh, yeah. And since I fast, yeah, of course, my mm. insulin is just like, I'm on a low carb diet. Well, so when I eat, I only eat probably vegetables, uh, salads. I have chicken, but I'm eating a lot of more red meat. Okay. So I'm having more lean diet, more lean red meat, uh, mints, yeah. steaks, yeah. Uh, burgers, yeah. which is crazy yeah. to say, but that's... Burgers. So it, I'm finding um, I'm finding my little lane now. I've been fasting on this intermittently for four weeks now. I think this is my fourth week, and I have had fried food in of between course. that. Yeah. So what I want people to understand is, well, if you trip up or you just feel like having something a little have bit it. greasy, just do it. But understand that you need to go back to where you're. Yeah. Well, Everyone backslides into something. Yeah, like. yeah. Go back to what you're doing because, <laughs> trust me, it it it, it there's the results of it is going to be very fruitful for you as well. So sorry. No, 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 no. No, it's, 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 nah, I am. Um, so my introduction to fasting was yep. again. I did the research, and people, the research is out there. It's just whether you want to take the time to do it, and Tap it doesn't mean you're going to spend 24 hours doing it. But you know. The good thing with YouTube is if you watch one particular thing on a certain subject, they're going to highlight and recommend other videos. And then just do a little, like me, I do a little playlist and I just jump, drop stuff in there to check out a later date. But go online, check out uh, Fasting, Fasting something that we mentioned at the start of the show. Uh, our Muslim uh, brothers and sisters, during Ramadan, this is, this this, is it. This is what, this they, is they, what do. they do. Yeah. And theirs is not... A, it's not like they got a time and they're judging it by sun up, sun down type of thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're doing it every year. Yeah. Um, you know, there's arguments to be made. Some people that I've done research with, they will say like, you don't need breakfast. There's some people say, as we know, growing up, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's a hoax. Well, do you know where that come from? What, cereal companies? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but don't get me wrong, I do like cereal, but I haven't had cereal. I can't remember the last time I had a bowl of cereal, if I'm being honest. I love cereal. But I've got, if you go in my 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 cupboard, I've got every type of cereal, dope ones that's there from, from crunchy nut cereal to the mm? churros oh, one oh. to the crunchy nut cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah. Uh, the, the Cheerios <laughs> to, to <laughs> porridge, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got all that good stuff there. Absolutely. Um, well, and you, you should. And by the way, people you should always have hot milk with your cocoa pops. That's just how nice. it's meant to be. Um, when you got a nine year old, you you are a monster. Um, cold Weetabix. You have cold milk or Weetabix. <laughs> you are definitely a monster. Oh, there's something wrong with you. Nah, you got to relax. A yeah, but I've done the week fast with just water. Yeah. And I remember I was going to work, and at the time where I was working, we had in house chefs, so they used to cook breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. And I used to purposely take myself from my desk and go sit with everybody during lunch. <laughs> that must have been to so hard. Further drum home my discipline of I can smell this food, I can see this food being cooked, this and the third, I'm not eating it. Now, certain days when they did cook food that I like, I would take it in a container home and put it in the fridge. And then when I've broke my fast, I'll eat. During the pandemic, I did a course in nutrition and the person who was giving the course said, you're not meant to have cheat days. Nope. But you can have a cheat meal. And he basically said, if you eat clean 95% of the time, that 5%, you yeah. can have a cheat meal. Yeah, yeah. So you could eat clean for the whole day and maybe your lunch, you go, I'm going to have a little burger or something, whatever, whatever, and keep it moving. Yeah. And it's not going to impact your journey. No. I've got an app on my phone. There's apps you can have that can set, you can set it up on how your ratio of this hour to this hour, your 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 fast to eat uh, ratio. So I've got it on my phone and I use it and it's a case of, I, 
as soon as I have a bite to eat, start it. If you want to know what the app's called, DM Jizzy. Yeah, I think it's just called the fasting now. I think okay. it's, it's not a fancy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I'm starting that. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, he took out sponsorship. Then yeah, you you, you click that once you've had a bite to eat. Based on the ratio you've done, so if you say you, there's 24 hours in the day, so yep. say you do a 20 to 4 ratio, so you fast for 20 hours, you eat four hours. You're not eating throughout the whole four hours, but you've got a four hour window to, to go by. Yeah, day. I usually do eight, I do four to eight hour windows. Then, the timer will then give you a notification to say it's time to fast. So you yeah. click it and then you know that's no it, more eating you. until it notifies you it's time to eat. But you could do this gradually. Like if you just want to implement it to your day-to-day life, you don't have to go cold turkey like this maniac here. Yeah, I'm a maniac. You could just do, all right, you know what? Yeah, it's real simple. Depending on what your life's working lifestyle is like, you could just be like, I'm going to go home and stop eating at from six o'clock until I wake up. Now, don't forget, six at night to six in the morning, that's already yeah. 12 hours. Yeah. If you don't have breakfast till nine, then do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've already fasted for a period of time. Mm. You can push it further down the line and go, I'm not going to have anything to eat for breakfast, but I will have a smoothie or something like that. Yeah. And then my first meal will be at lunch. Yeah. So just do it as and when, how you feel. And yeah, it's, again, it's just healthy benefits. Obviously, them lot won't want to tell you that because they need you to keep coming into the practice and prescribe you stuff yep. and this, that, and the and food. And food companies want you to keep buying their food. Right. But, you know, a li- like when I did the water fast, my skin, my chest was got mad red like it had a rash. But that was my body rejecting all the toxins that was yeah, inside of it. Yeah, yeah. And then after a day or two, it just disappeared. Yep. And like you said, you feel great. Your skin feels better. You know, yeah, just, yeah, because it takes days for your body to break down certain foods. And if you're eating that every day, then you just you're just asking your, your body to break down and work overtime. So, yeah, so, the, so, so scientific words they use uh, for fasting uh, is when your body goes into a state of ketosis. Yeah, yeah. and when your body goes in a state of ketosis, it just means that you now are eat, your body now is just eating the fat off you. Yeah, basically, your Hence body. You got the keto diet. There you go. Um, and I feel like the main benefits of fasting is just becoming disciplined with your food. It's very hot. Like that's like, for, I swear to God, Juzy, for like three years, I was trying to find a way to become disciplined. And I was asking God, I was asking, I was just asking around like what to do. My brethren was like, come boxing with me. Very, very cool. Go gym, do this at the gym. And I was doing it. And it was, and it was just like not finding, like I've always worked out throughout my life. Yeah. But I was like, I just couldn't find... I still, it's like, find it's the still, balance. yeah, I couldn't find a balance. It was not shifting. Well, they say 75% of getting to your goals is, is in food. The kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Food. So if you're, if you're going with that and then you're reducing the amount you eat, you can have, because I have specific uh, measurements of certain uh, food intake I, I need to have, right? Yeah. And yeah, like, you know, I was 100 kg at the start of the year. I'm down to like 94. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep going, but I'm in a certain discipline now. It takes you 21 days to form a, a habit yeah. and a discipline. Good. If you do something for 21 days, it, it's gonna stop becoming ru- like a routine. You have to do it, and it's just gonna be something you naturally do. Mm. Um. So yeah, man. So shout out to anyone. And look, I know the year we're kind of into March now. We're in the third month of the year, and some people there's that pressure society puts on you. It's like you have to start your journey at midnight or on the 1st of January. Fuck them. Your journey, your journey starts when your journey starts. Your journey yeah, starts you might you listen to this now and be like, you know what? Yeah, I've been trying to think, uh, let me do some research on this fastest thing. Let me see if I can imp- implement yeah. it solely in my, in my life. Your journey starts when your journey starts. But we are just saying to you, you know, you can play, but let's look after your health in whichever way you wish to do it. But just look after your health and just try and live, man. And don't try to live for a season. I know some mm. people will be banging it in the gym because they want to look good for summer. You need to look good for life. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? I life like, is an all-round season. I feel like this is something now that I will be doing. Uh, once I get to my fate, my weight that I really want to be at, I'll obviously start eating and maybe a little bit differently. My patterns of eating will be differently, but it's always always something I'm going to rewrite That will naturally happen, though. Yeah. So I might do it twice a year now. now. A year now. now. A year now. A year now. You are now listening 
to the Drizzy and Morgan show. 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 Big up to man like uh, Kai Sadat, man. I see Kai Sadat out in Africa living his best life. I love Kai. Oh, my brother. Have you, have you seen it? No. He's Listen, he looked like he was Prince Hakim going back to Africa when he left to go to America. He is living his He's best life. I think that kid's got a heart of gold. And I just think that some people take what he says uh, to heart in a in a, a, in a negative sense. way. And I just think that he's just, because of his age, he just says stuff as when it, it's formulated in his head. Yeah. But shout out to Kai living his best life out there. Um, yeah, man, big up to Skept on that. I can't wait for the for the new album. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's, we can't speak unless the plus lady tells us walk on with the walk on, innit? So, yeah, walk on with the walk on. Walk on with the walk on. Well, uh, I think we're going to go into pop culture now. Yeah, okay. Um, so I was thinking about, okay, so why do we find it hard to forgive someone that hurts us? Mm-hmm. Why is it deemed as a weakness to forgive? And why is it important not to hold a continuous grudge? What do we think? <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, when, I'll, I'll start. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when, we, when we had a phone call, Drizzy, initially, um, and we was discussing the subject, it was about um, Rihanna and, and, and Chris Brown. And Chris Brown. Yeah. But that didn't, that wasn't what come to my mind. That okay. didn't come to my mind, that particular scenario when it, when it came to uh, forgiveness. Okay. What came to my mind was the incident that happened with Amber Geiger in 2018, where she shot a man uh, who she thought was in her house. Really, she intruded in, intruded in his house. And she shot what was, wait, remind she, me. She was her house, but she went to her neighbor's house. She went into her neighbor's house. She shot a guy. She shot a mid twenties. Okay, um, and that was more of why I, what I thought about when it came to forgiveness, because basically it went to trial. She got ten years, right? And um, the, the Bo- Botham Jean is the guy that was shot. Right. His brother testified in court mm. in the trial, and the thing that stood out the most was him telling. Amber that he forgave her. Okay, that's that's jogging my memory now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Karen, and yeah. he said to her that he didn't want her to rot in jail, mm-hmm. and he wished the best for her. Mm-hmm. In jail. And at the time, yeah, still do the ten years and that, but yeah. At the time, I was I was confusing, isn't it? No, was, yeah, when yeah. they were hugging and that, that was a yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Okay, yeah, right, right. I remember. Yeah, that, that was too much. That, right. That that's that's that. T- My that's too much. Lipsing. Listen, I can listen. I can look you in your eyes and say, "I've come to peace with the situation that's happened," right? And leave it at that. Right. There's no way on God's green earth I'm walking over to hug the killer of my brother. Nah, it, sorry, it, I it, I can't. That's just me. It, 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 right. So I, it's a stretch. Yeah, because if anybody, Yoga. anybody in anybody in here, someone killed um close man family member of ours is highly likely we're not really interested in what happens to them yeah. right, right. Let's, let's keep it a buck yeah. mm. but when i when we speak about forgiveness and we speak about this gentleman's way of forgiving her mm-hmm. i believe it's more of a practice when you become godlike or you have okay. uh some sort of um Highway. godly uh, practices characteristics yeah because it takes a certain type of don to actually to forgive now the question was um why is it that we find it so hard to forgive someone that hurts hurts us yeah my answer to that is i just think people don't know how to so there's not, a, there's not a playbook for it. So you get her. I don't. It might be a relationship. It might be somebody betrayal that teases you. Yeah. Betrayal of friendship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheating. Yeah. Any of those kind of infidelities, right? That those things happen. Now you don't necessarily, as you said, have the playbook for it to even know how to even navigate through that because you're feeling like, raw. Oh, mm. this person's done me a madness. Mm-hmm. I think you're right, though. I think it stems from being religious. 
Yeah. Um, because when when you have I, like let's just be someone that's religious believes that the Bible is a stencil to handle situations. Yeah. Um, you go to the Bible for guidance. You go to the to you pray to God for answers and, yeah. and those kind of things. I think it is a godly attribute to have trait trait, and a trait to have because you have to practice forgiveness 100% um and also sometimes when things happen to you when you are religious it's you see it in a different way so someone who's not like in faith um wouldn't see it they would just see it as betrayal 100% yeah yeah, piece of shit whatever and internalize it yeah and internalize it and then probably let it affect them and maybe treat someone else domino effect like what you said Uh however someone that's religious um may believe you know not by yeah what's the phrase I can't remember they would they would see it as a lesson yes right right so everything that happens to you is a lesson because it's for the better of the good so you like got it's, off, yeah it's exactly. for you to become yeah. for you to learn a lesson from it yep and to become a better person but to also like discard and get rid of the toxic stuff around you so like trials and tribulations going through it uh-huh. kind of like what jesus did do you get what i mean it's like going through all of that in order to become the best version of you so to become the best version of you you can't hold things of like grudges and have hate in your heart because that's not godly. But think about it, yeah. Think about this, yeah. And think about a scenario where someone's hurt you and you've hold, held on to it, right? Uh, most of the time, that person's gone on their their, their way, yeah, yeah. gone on with their life, yeah. yeah, kept it moving, and they really don't give a shit yeah. mm. what they've done to you or how they've done it to you. Yeah. They've just moved on because it hasn't happened to them. And then, as you said... It, you can internalize it and it becomes a vicious circle. So now mm. you're dealing with that, you're processing it and you're like, I hurt. Yeah. Hurt people, hurt people, the same yeah. goes, yeah, right? Yeah. So like, I just feel like pe- when when people don't understand or don't know how to navigate through hurt, that's where it, it's hard to process yeah. that kind of thought to say, I'm going to forgive somebody. And then it's deemed as weakness, yeah? So think about society in general yeah movies revenge movies we get taught that if someone does you something it's about getting revenge it's a dish best of course black panther um do you remember the movie time to kill when um samuel or jackson that donny ma- does a madness to his daughter and he just lets it off yeah in the court he lets off a shotgun on the donnies right as you do and punisher big movie where we but the, the, but the the common theme with those is they've all been extreme all been dealt by being done dirty exactly but then you as a person have to identify the the route you want to go in regards to dealing with this yeah revenge. yeah, yeah. Post, post like, her, how are you going to deal with any other situation moving forward should that happen again? and the person as well because punisher with all uh, due respect to Frank Castle, he just went on a vigilante military. Yeah. He was like, well, you lot took out my my child and my wife. Yeah, no. I'm just going to start laying down. Anyone that sniffed, anyone that smells dirty, I'm just murking <laughs> Anyone them. that says the word wife yeah. or, or, or... Child. Yeah, yeah child. Pa, 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 pa. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think, it's a, I think it's wasted energy festering in it for so long. 100%. Like, I just think that we're here for a short time, not a long time. Don't waste... Look, if someone does bad by you, i.e. you tell them something in confidence, you two break up or you're no longer friends or your your relationship, your, your friendship kind of just, you know, goes its separate it ways. And then they want to use that against you in an argument or whatever. It's like, that's more about them than it is about you. You trusted them to come find in them and they flipped that information you gave them and they, they're using it against you. That's just more about, I know the, the embarrassment at the time with peak and you know, oh my God, but it's more about them than it is about you. But you can't, you got to invest in people that invest in you. Also reacting in the moment when you're hurt is also just like the worst thing you could possibly do. I think you can practice to take a step back and be like, you know what? This has happened. It is what it is. Obviously, it's easier said than done yeah. Yeah. in that moment. 
But to know that you're like probably going to be better off without that person or decide, yeah. it depends on what but you this decide. Is the, so Keish, can I ask you a side question? Oh, on, yeah. So do you think people are entitled to closure? Yeah, I think so. But yeah. some people don't need it. So do you think someone should be able to forgive and move on even without closure? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. so. What do you think? I, I think so. That's a good question. He he was on the ledge once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> like literally. How many times has he been on the ledge? A now? couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of times. <laughs> and randomly enough, I don't know who gets called before me, but I know I get a call for him and then he's talking to me. Yo, Driz. Yeah. Sometimes he might be called by the government name. I'm like, I need to, I, whatever I'm doing, I need to stop right, well, so, 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 can, we, can we talk about last week then? What, what, what? We're, about to, we're about to do a skinging in East Ham. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, bro. Broski? Broski? I'm dropping, I'm dro- Keisha, we've left here. I'm dropping off uh, Joe and Drizzy back to the crib, yeah? And literally, we're on the high street in East Ham. And boom, as I stop the car, someone, boom. Drives into the back of me. What? Yeah, Uber driver. So we all get out the car and he's doing all sorts of excuses. Da, 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 da. I'm saying, push back the car, bro. We need to see the damage on the car. Uh, 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 bro, Joe's going, push back the car. Drizzy's getting angry. It's, it's getting on top, right? Whoa. So a couple men run across the road. I think a couple Arab dons. Well, it was in East London, so demographic <laughs> very, certain demographic and I don't know they if came they to, came they to came save to, the yeah. day or they came to back up Don or it yeah. was like raw come to assess the situation anyway as he's reversed back and we finally got got front oh uh, we got over frustrated but we finally got him to push back his car reverse his car back mm. and they weren't a damage to my car but the scenario was in it it, it could have got techie it could have got really because you you know like when someone's done something to you and they are in the wrong <laughs> drive someone drives into the back of you that's the that's yeah that's on them right well, there's for, a blame, there's for a me for me i was like let's just let's just keep it moving because i ain't got the time like I've had a good day. It was first. It was the first day we podded together. We did the ad. Boom, boom, boom. I'm dropping the man them back. Let's just keep it moving. My cousins were at the yard as well. Maybe yeah, they were waiting for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Greg and Anton. And yeah, I kind of just tried to get over it quickly because this is the thing as well. A lot of the time, yeah, when you hold on to resentment and anger, that's it's you don't for, forgiving somebody is not forgetting about it oh. you don't forget it should, it could, of yourself. It could, you could spin it into a learning process you it's can like you're gonna now look out for these signs that it does not happen again but drizzy you really what you're doing is you're forgiving yourself the whole conversation we're having is about forgiving yourself because what you've done is you've put yourself in that situation yeah. and allowed yourself to be hurt. And by forgiving that person, you're saying you I forgive, yourself, you. I so forgive yeah. me. Yeah. I forgive. I yeah. forgive me. Yeah. I for, I'm not going to take this shit. I'm not going to internalize it. I'm not going to harp on it. I'm not going to let it control me because mm-hmm. that's what they're doing. The person yeah, yeah, that's yeah, hurt yeah. you, they're yeah. controlling you. And if you don't mm. forgive them, they've kind of got that control over you until that. you break it and forgive. And they might not even think about it like that, but they indirectly have that control over they, you until yeah. you say, nah, forgive. Nah. And then it's gone. It's gone. Mm. It's gone. So like, of of course, with the Amber Gar- Garga situation, that's a very, very high level Extreme, of forgiveness yeah, yeah, that yeah. you have to have yeah. in your body. But in general, forgiving only helps you move on, man. Like, it does. It does. Trust me. Do you know what I mean? It only helps yeah. you move on. Which leads to... Shout out um, to that Donny, by the way, who bumped into the car. Cause, <laughs> like, next thing, you lot's doing an Alabama brawl again. The yeah. white chair. Like, you didn't know if the guys were You know what it was? I think, I think the thing that put the fear of God into him is just how smooth it happened yeah. that I think about how all three of us jumped out the car. No, but you know what's that right? was just too smooth. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like the 18th band and we just walked out. <laughs> that was too smooth. And I looked at his eyes when I was walking through yeah, him it was and peak. I could see... If he was a virgin or he wasn't a virgin, <laughs> he became a virgin again and he like lost he it lost because he looked like he just saw, <laughs> brother, 
he goes he, mad. You see, saw the fear in his eyes. You got a six. You got a six foot three, Doddy. Six foot four, five. Four. And you got Joe Montana in all Over black, Joe's hoodie, that ready to All black. <laughs> like he was at the back, of like a, like he was with Sully and then the top boys. Nah. And all three of us jumped out, yeah. And he, and you know, you know what I was getting annoyed. Boss man, just move the car back. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I don't know. No, 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 let's talk about boss man. Move the car back. We need to no, no. And he was just driving me insane because I'm like, we're if asking you just to do move one it thing. Back, we just move see. it back because yeah, yeah. there might not be no damage. Before just you, move it before back. Before you get kicked. And then, and he was getting, he was. <laughs> before you get kicked, move the car Please. back. Yeah, because it's not. Cause and then at one point, I said to him, if you don't move the car back, the door's open. But I'm going to jump in and reverse But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's so, like, some t- things now, as I get older, it's so, like, beyond me that yeah, I just I, I understand. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Rap man up on the high street now. It's a like a kebab. It's nothing. These two Donnies are bonkers. 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 Shout out to... Uh, to 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 Mantana, the great Scarface. Jeez. Yeah, shout out to uh, who's in the building now. And shout out to uh, Al Pacino who played Mont's Scarface in that. Phrase of the day is, all I have is my balls and my word. And I think it's very appropriate on the subject we was talking about forgiveness and the subject we're talking about going forward. Because I've, I'm starting to understand that a lot of men, especially, don't live on their words. They don't live by their words. They make broken promises and they say things to you. And then and then two, three, four hours, days down the line, you don't, you don't hear from them. Mm. And I don't know what the reason behind it is. I don't know if it's like a lack of self understanding. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, somebody probably that doesn't really under understand who they are or overestimates their ability. Mm-hmm. You know, like you can sometimes just do, you're just trying to do too much, right? And by doing too much, you're not even doing what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Just chatting shit. Yeah. Um, and it's like, these, not living by your word really has a massive impact on your relationships and their reputation. It's like all of us in here are a team. And I I believe that we all are responsible for ourselves and each other and our reputation. So Joe... What are you saying? Accountability? Accountability. It's Joe's reputation, Keisha's reputation, your reputation, and mine to you. Mm-hmm. So for example, if you told me, gee, I need you to get something to me, I can either say no... I can either say, bro, in about an hour when I get back from work or whatever, whatever. But trust me by my words, it's going to be done at some point. Si, senor. Because I don't want you to look at me or even think that, bro, he he said that he was going to. And I feel like we don't have enough of this. We don't have the no default. It's that no default setting. Sometimes, even with my son, he's nine years old. I say no first before I say yes. I, I'm just on no. I'm just on no mode. Dad, can I? No, Dad, no. Because I want you to understand that when I do say yes or I give you my word, that is exactly what it is, and mm-hmm. there's no misconstrued. Yeah. Um, there's no misconstrued in what I'm saying or doing, and I just feel like. Uh, a lot of people don't have those skill sets, bruv. It's weird because you, you, th- you think people in life get to a certain age and you think they should know better and they don't. Um, so yeah, um, phrase of the day. <laughs> All I have is my word and my balls and I believe that we as men should have more of that. Not be cowards say what they mean, do as you say, and follow through. And I feel like life can be better for us all. Don't chat shit, shit. It's the Trizzy and Morgan show, show, uh, we're show, near, we're show. Gonna, we're gonna, We're going we're gonna to wrap up the show very quickly. I just wanted to say that obviously we don't have any football this weekend uh, because it's international friendlies. England are playing. Um, all I wanted to basically touch on, pause, was obviously the fact that 
um, sat Gareth Southgate, put all of the um, the the he the, put out the players who's going to be playing the goalkeepers, the defenders, and midfielders. Right. I was pretty much cool with most of them, and I was just like, it's weird because obviously he's one of my ex players. I just didn't know understand why Jordan Henderson was in the team. Um, you could have, you got like, you got like Ward Prowse, but Ross Barkley's just been having a, a ball of a time at Luton Town. Yeah. Um, even Harvey Elliott and Chris, uh, uh, Curtis Jones, who, they're in, who Curtis Jones is injured, but again, for the Euros, he'd be ready. Yeah. I just don't know. I just think like Gareth Southgate does this loyalty thing when you shouldn't be doing that. You should be playing the players that are in form on playing the best football. F the loyalty. It's about the performance. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about that, Trizzy. I mean, you know, um, it's uh, it's one of those things where it's just like, sometimes you have to stick by what you know, um, which I understand. Yeah. Um, like if you're a manager who's got a relegation battle on his hands, yep. you might have loaned in some highly promising youngsters, but... You know, you you're gonna go by the experienced guys, like your guys right here. Like, where's where's the quorum, bro? Yeah, sorry, that was yeah. I pressed the button. I pressed the clearly. Button. Yeah, you didn't even have button. your finger on the volume button. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, I was just yeah. Hold on. <laughs> go on. I'm trying to work out what I'm saying there. Uh, what was I saying? Talk, we're talking oh about, yeah, talking like you gotta, experience. you gotta, you you're gonna go with experienced players that like in your team yes. because you're just like if I'm gonna go f- now and fight, I'm gonna go and fight with these experienced guys that uh, you know experienced in regards to the time they've been in football, this, that, and the third. Yeah, but, yeah. I, I but at the same time, saying. you gotta, you but gotta, you, you've gotta, as you were talking about before, you gotta, like you only, all you got your balls and your word. Like, he, yeah, he's he's saying things that don't they don't line up. Yeah. Like he'll say like uh, he said he the thing is he. He cornered himself into a corner because he said, I pick players based on form. Yes. But then it's like, well, how can someone who's sitting on a bench have more form than someone who's getting minutes on the pitch? Yeah, I'm playing. Now, I'm not saying my young king, Kobe Maynard, needs to be in that team. Not at all. Yeah. But but I'm just saying that there's no one, there's very few midfielders ahead of him that should be in that squad Mm -hmm. before him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's been playing on the pitch week in, week out for my team. And playing big games, it's not like Ten Hag's like, oh, I'm going to play him in a little game against Luton, Nottingham Forest, and these teams there. He's playing in big games. Yeah. So, yeah, so, but I, I don't care, bruv, like, the tools we have, uh, he has available to him, English should be, be doing way better than they are. We've got too many skillful wingers. We've got some good midfielders. Our defence can do some work, but at the same time, the defence he normally does put out seems pretty solid. What are we doing? But anyway, fire for for Southgate. Do you think we can win the Euros? I think we have a bit of luck. Yeah, we should have won it. When we took the lead against Italy, we should have wrapped up that that, uh, game like a a, a Lamroti, bro. What was he doing? I just think we've got so much quality and it'll be a waste. If we don't win anything with this 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 crop of players, uh, uh, I'm gonna be like, this is this is all on Southgate, bro. Uh, yeah, man, it's just it's just, it's just it's s- stupid, bro. Yeah, it's weird. Um briefly, quick quick question. Who do you think is gonna win the league? Not who you want to, who do you think will? Um I think you lot might take it. Serious? Yeah, I think you lot might take it. I think the hurt of missing out by a point, I don't know what that's like because we we had technically had like was like this for the trophy, and then that Aguero goal just made us yeah, go, yeah. "Yep, take your hands away." Um, I think you lot might be uh, using that for a bit of motivation, tied in with the the whole uh, Klopp thing departing. Um, so yeah. But that, we'll that see. Momentum. I can't call it at the moment, to be honest with you. I, I, I'd love to stick my chest out and go, yeah, Liverpool. But it's like... It's mad, isn't it? It is mad. Because you've got Arsenal playing out of their skin at the moment. City, you can never write City off. They can just they can go and just win yeah, all their the rest pop, of... The, the, the puppet master pulls the strings. He's kind of... He's a... Uh, Fitness levels, it's a bit questionable. Yeah, De Bruyne, so, you know De Bruyne, I mean? and, yeah. and I think there's more talented strikers in the league than Haaland. Like we've seen, 
unless the ball's in front of him and that. I, I, Haaland doesn't, he hasn't shown me yet he could develop his game, but he doesn't look like a, I can get the ball from there and make it to the back of the... I think, I think what's happening with Haaland, yeah, to piggyback off what you said, pause, yeah? Like, you always have that first season, Salah had it, that first season where you just bang. Yeah. And now I'm seeing a dip because obviously the, the league figures you out like we when we played uh, City the other day, Haaland had bruv, he was on scraps, bruv. All Same game. with us, and then he got yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like but I just don't, I think as a striker, yeah, I think there's more better rounded strikers than him. Right. He's a he's always gonna be a goal machine. Right. But I just think like a, someone to take the take the game, like when De Bruyne is not there, he does Listen, look a little ha- bit. Haaland is just white lives matter Lukaku. Say no more. Let's keep it pushing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I got a dilemma for you guys, yeah. All right, let's get into this because this when I found this dilemma, I was like, "Lord have mercy on my soul, <laughs> on our souls." After I read this, okay. All right. I'm not a grandma. I'm a glamma. I look deceptively young, younger than I am, and I use that to my advantage. My grandson's 23. Is sorry, my grand. Excuse me. Damn, that is poor reading. Sorry. Right, from the TOP. I'm not a grandma, I'm a glamour ma. I look deceptively younger than I am and I use it to my advantage. My grandson, 23, is helping me renovate my basement. I've entertained Jose, a young migrant man who works for him. I'm discreet, but I had no idea that Jose rec- recorded our encounter. This video has been shared many times among the migrant workers. I can tell... They look at me when they arrive. I can tell how they look at me when they arrive. And I'm afraid my grandson will find out, especially since Jose slips upstairs to my bedroom instead of doing his work in the basement. Also, my eyesight is not the best. And I'm not sure if I'm sleeping. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Sorry. And I'm not sure if I'm sleeping with Jose each time or if it's the migrants. Father, <laughs> what the hell? I'll sleep, I'll oh switch it up with me. I don't mind the switch up, but again, I'm trying to contain the situation so my grandson won't find out. Advice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> Advice, please. Wow. What in the actual looking hat? <laughs> I've just got to just really just digest that a minute. Pause. Pause. <laughs> not, not that one. That's a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Grandma, we love you. Grandma is a freak. Grandma, we and grandma, do. And gra- I, I, the, I don't grandma even... might be Puffy's mum, bro. <laughs> grandma, grandma doesn't actually care. I don't think she cares about swapping out Don's. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I don't. <laughs> Grandma's, she, she started off, yeah, I'm a glam. I'm not a grandma, I'm a glam. So that means that she's on. She's a well aware of her nastiness. She's on, she's on, she's on brand with what she's trying to do. Yeah, bro. she's like Martin and the dresser's lamb as well. You can Yeah, because it's like. She, Cleavage like, out, wrinkly boobs. Like, what you, like, it sounds like a bunch of excuses for you to just keep it pushing. Like, like. <laughs> a lot of that was happening. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Bernie Spurgos is a glamma. <laughs> Bro, she looks better than her daughters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Benny Vegas is a glamour. <sighs> so what's what's so I what, what's mean, the advice? I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think first she used to go to the opticians, bro. <laughs> what is this? Yo, yeah. right, yeah. some decorum. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the grandma. grandson, the grandson has to hold that because there's yeah, gonna yeah. be bare yeats that grandma, their, their, their mobs are gonna be. So gotta hold that. Hundred percent, grandma. I would um, <laughs> That's respectfully. Crazy. That's crazy. As an elder, I'm gonna speak to you respectfully, grandma. I think that you need to tell your son that I was saying Jose. It's probably Jose. You need to tell Jose. Uh, sorry, you need to tell your grandson that uh, you just tell him what's going on. You're at an age where your grandkids or whatever they can't tell you what to do. No. Just tell him, you know what? I've been having sexual relationships with that man over there. Yeah. And just leave out the part about the switching up bit because that's that's wild. That's wild, man. 
She's acting like she's a bathroom in the house or something. Like, just, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, come on, yeah. we can't do that. Um, yeah, the city needs to because Lord forbid. First of all, uh, Jose, where's my camera? I'm talking to you, Jose. You got to relax. You can't be recording sessions without consent, bro. That's crazy. That's that's na- that's nasty work, bro. Jose. That's he, nasty work. Sometimes you just want to reflect on the not not without permission, obviously. Yeah, of course. Cool. Okay, yeah. Sorry. It's, yeah, of wrong. course. Right. Oh, I didn't get that bit. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ooh, that's a nice little sec. Hold on. So, do you have any advice or? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like flabbergasted. Bro. I just think I just think Grandma is living her best life, and just clearly, <laughs> and and helping others too. <laughs> Live theirs. That's mad, bro. Them man probably can't even speak a lick of English, and them man are just tearing down. You yeah, know. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, Keisha, question. Question for Keish. Uh, question question, for um, question. Um, you know what you just said about you just want to reminisce and stuff yeah? yeah if you sent your significant other um, some content via the phone which is uh, does he have to delete when we break up yes yes this week's idiot of the week is the government of the United Kingdom and how they continuously continue to show how the United Kingdom is passively a, a racist and don't want to address the elephant in the room. What's the elephant? Rushi Sunak and his conservative party, aka known as the Tories, they get donations from this one particular Donny called Frank Hester. Mm-hmm. Um, Frank Hester, to date, has donated up to 15 million pounds to the conservative party. So obviously they need to keep him sweet. Right. The thing about him is he said, allegedly told a member of staff that Diane Abbott, who is a woman of color, she's basically black. Diane Abbott makes him want to hate all black women and should be shot. Now, I don't know what type of environment or scenario you need to be in to feel that comfortable. But to say those things means that there's something underlining going on. The fact that the government have had to address this situation in the House of Commons while said Diane Abbott is sitting there, so she's there. Wow. And they're talking about her like she's not there, but yeah. she's there. Yeah. And she can't say nothing. So she can't even get involved in the thing. The fact that he's like, well... You know, he's downplaying this this thing that's going on right now, this topic that we're talking about. It's like, it's disgusting. Like, Rishi Sunak, I don't care. Like, sometimes you need to look in the mirror and realize you're brown. I keep thinking at times he thinks he's a coconut, but a reverse one where it's like the brown's on the inside and the, the, the white fleshy bits on the outside. Yeah. Because the, sometimes the way he carries himself is just mad sus, bro. He's just mad sus. As a person of color, Mr. Rishi Sunak, you should have said to Frank Hester, what you said is outlandish, it's disgusting, Mm -hmm. and you need to change your way of thinking. I don't care that you've given us an uh, extra five mil since this situation has happened. You need to address this situation and look at yourself and get the help you need because the country that I run even though you know it's full of shit, you saying this, but the country I run, I don't want it to be a country where anybody thinks like this towards another human being, especially a black woman who has become, who is one of the first to be in uh, this politics uh, environment and is doing doing uh, the best she can with what she has. Now, Miss Diane Abbott, she had, uh, there was a rally they had, uh, a few days ago. Yeah. Shout out to the people that uh, went to the rally to stand up and show their support. Um, Donny, the Labour Donny, um, I want to join a blank on his name, the Labour Donny that was trying to, uh, that was up for elections uh, not too long ago. Um, um, on, and he was like, the grandkids like him and all Jeremy that Corbyn. Who? Corbyn. Corbyn, that's him. Shout out to my like Corbyn. Um, he was there showing his support and he, you're kind of like, yeah, I, there's something about him that he comes across like a genuine ally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, shout out to But the annoying thing is, Frank Hester says that he accepts he was rude about Diane Abbott in a private meeting. So 
it was in a private meeting. So if it didn't get out, we would have never known about this, right? right? But you feel comfortable in the environment you were to say that, right? In a private meeting several years ago about his criticism, uh, but his criticism had nothing to do with gender nor color of skin. Well, spoiler alert, I'm not dumb, blind, or stupid. You mentioned the color of her skin because you said Dan Abbott makes him want to hate all black women, not some, or not a minority, not a particular type, a particular height. You said all, plural, and then you mentioned color, black, and then you mentioned gender, women. And then you used an aggressive uh, scenario, be shot. Okay, uh, the Guardian is right when it quotes Franks saying he abhors uh, racism, not least because he experienced it as the child of Irish immigrants in the nineteen seventies. So, skirt. So you're from Irish immigrants, you know, and we spoke about this at the top of the show that you did not have it easy. Your community did not have it easy when it came to the UK. Yeah. So you should be an ally. So you should hear someone saying something like that, which you said around you, and you need to pull them up. So you're full of shit. Uh, he rang down Abbott twice to, to try to apologize directly for the hurt he has caused her. And he's deeply sorry for his remarks. He wishes to make it clear that he regards racism as a poison, which has no place in public life. So why did you go out your way to s identify specifically the, ge the gender and the color of that gender that you hate and should be short? It's crazy. It's such an ex extreme statement as well. Shot. Shot. Yeah, that's crazy. There's so many things. We're not condoning this, but there's so many things you could have said was like, oh, this guy's in jest or this guy's probably angry. Or, but you said all. So you want all black women to, 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 to you just hate all of them. And, or sorry, Dan Abbott makes you want to hate all of them. Why? How can one person make you want to hate a whole race of people? Because I racist people paint... Any other ethnic minority as one. It's a, lot, it's a lot of people snitching on each other at the same time too. Yeah. 2024 seems like the year of truth. Like everyone yeah. is just telling, like yeah. these people that are in high places is telling stuff and you're like, right, I did not know that. Oh, I did. And yeah, so that's the idiot of the week this week. Uh, Keish. Yo. Well, let's wrap up the show. Could you let everybody know where to, to, uh, to find us? Uh, yeah, I can't do. So we are relevant on all DSPs, audio platforms, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is at Drizzy Morgan Show. Uh, we also have our Spotify playlist as well, which will be in the description below. We're obviously on Insta, follow us, hit us up on there, send us DMs with dilemmas, things you want us to do, such as games, um, anything basically, mm -hmm. just not nudes or anything like that because we don't really want that. Mm -hmm. Um and then we are on, I think it's Spotify, we've got our playlist. YouTube, right. obviously, hit us yep, up. Yep. Subscribe, like, share. Yeah, it'll be in um, the description. Everything that we yeah. that, that we talk on or any links for playlists will be in the description. So um, you can check that out. And yeah. Hit us up and DM, DM us your thoughts as well. Like, yeah, if you've got any dilemmas comments. and stuff, like send us our way. Or if you know somewhere we can look to get a dilemma that caught your eye and you'd like to hear our uh, thoughts on it, then yeah, uh, hit us up, man. So, uh, based on that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us today. And we will be back in a fortnight for another episode of the Drizzy and Morgan Show. Speak to you in a fortnight. Shout out to Jojo and Mantana. Keisha in the building. With it. Peace, Peace. people. Peace. Peace.